We're coming at you live. Good Joe. evening, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome Good. to the Toy Division live stream. How are you all doing tonight? I hope you're well. Let us know in the chat. Yeah, so guys, another Wednesday. Yeah, Where fine. are they coming from? It's going so around. quick. Yeah. I know, right? I know, right? Ed's kicking it off straight in with the Brave Star. Um, you, know, well, yeah. you know, I'd have the handlebar figure. It's my favorite. Mate, Sp yeah. Space Cowboys should have been bigger. Space Cowboys. Fresh Cowboys should have been bigger than they were. Stormy T, hello, hello. So we can play at that. Welcome. Pete, hello, mate. How you doing? Breek, what's up, dude? Hey. All right, Colin, how's it going? How's the world domination going on the stock market? Watermelon. <laughs> Gruff, hello, mate. How's it going? Ben, what's up? Oh, man, that was a throwback. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Pogs for life, G. Tough, well, how you doing, mate? Before we've even got in there, Pogs I can't even. I, I can't remember what it was. Pogs for uh, life. We've got to do one hand. Is that a P? Carlos, you're right, mate. How How's you it get going? Your hand, like, performed like that. Ah. Union Jet Ranger, hello, mate. Oh, yeah. That's how nice. you doing, that buddy? That's a no. Oh, 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 Badger toys, welcome, welcome. Got dyslexic hands. Petro <laughs> shed evening. <laughs> Bradbury skating. Good evening, my friend. How are you? Finished Toy Rush. Hello, mate. How's it going? Ah, oh, people. All the regular Joes. I hope you're all well. Guys, so, uh, yeah, uh, we don't have a guest this week. We um, So we'll have a guest next week. So we just thought we'll deal with our three ugly faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And we'll get a beautiful person on next week. Uh, so, people, yeah. When we just chat nonsense for an hour or two. You know, right? Anything can happen now. <laughs> so we uh, we thought we'd we'll get a little um, a little discussion going on this one, going back to our roots of picking a topic, and we'll be talking about toys that are not popular, but they should be. And, and inevitably, we'll end up talking about toys, toys that are popular and why they shouldn't be. But we are going to start with toys that, that should have been more popular, definitely. But now, we, for the time being, we're taking it out of context now because a lot of these toys have become popular now. 30, yes, but, 40 years. Yeah, I was 40, gonna, yeah. 30, 40 yeah. years after they came out with, for kids. So yeah. that, is a, that is a reason we, we will take that into context. But we're just delving into like why these toys at the time never took off. And maybe why they are popular now. Mm. Yeah, I know, mate. I, it'll destroy <laughs> the live stream if I talked about Warriors of Krang. Go on, Aaron. Give us give us five top facts about Warriors of Krang. Uh, <laughs> well, Warriors, of, Warriors of Krang aren't even the second best thing with the what like I would pick Krang from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles then I would pick up a copy of Krang magazine before I went near a warrior of Krang that's how low on the list of good things that have the word Krang in them they are but it was spelled different aren't they I don't <laughs> care mate <laughs> I, I spell it how no, I, 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 I spell it differently yes I'm glad I'm glad Dan has fallen into my trap because one of the things I was going to uh, bring up was uh, toy snobs and uh this guy. So, uh, <laughs> this guy. That is definitely a boy I, job. Speaking of which, can, can, can we do our pickups? Because I've got some absolute belters. No, Go not now. No. Oh, okay. After that comment, you don't get to show anything. <laughs> turn him off. Turn him off. Prioritise you lads over the West Ham game. Well, oh, wow. <laughs> up, up, the, up the irons. Up the irons. Pretty standard, though, isn't it? Doing a right at him as well. Yeah, they are actually. They're in Champions League spot, aren't they? Mm, they're up there. Outrageous. No, I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Football! Oh. Football! Lads, ah. lads, 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 lads. <laughs> Go on. Love football. Hello, oh, Rob. I'm and trying we... to walk it into the net again, I see. 4 4 2, etc. We can actually uh, exclusively tell you guys now, not that it's a massive whatever, but it's actually uh, Rob Tats and Toys that's going to be with us next week. So, um, yeah, look forward to that. We'll be asking on the on the Facebook group for any questions. If you have very weird mask questions, please. 
Yeah. No one, no one I know knows more about Mask than uh, Mr. Tats and Toys. So we'll be and collating. We're talking, some. we're talking Mask, the Jim Carrey film. We, yes. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent Mask, Jim Carrey film. So you know that you know the bad guy that played Dorian out of Mask, the Jim Carrey film. Uh, yeah, he's so. I just thought he was so awesome. And he popped up in a film I love called Judgment Night. If anyone remembers Judgment Night, big up, best soundtrack ever. Honestly, the, the soundtrack to Judgment Night like shaped my childhood. It's got Emilio, oh, it's, it's Emilio Estevez. Emilio. Emilio. I definitely haven't seen, seen that film, as you Dude, know. My, non, my knowledge of films is pretty it's weak, got Cuba, unless it's fantasy. But. Cuba Gooding Jr., Emilio Estevez, Dennis Leary is the bad guy. Judgment Night. Anyway, the soundtrack's amazing. It's a bunch of metal bands doing mashups with a bunch of hip hop bands. So you got like Cypress Hill and like an and Onyx and, and uh, Biohazard oh, and yeah. House of Pain and Helmet. And it, it's, it's, it's brilliant. Anyway, but that yeah, guy man. was also in that. I thought he was a brilliant actor and it annoys me that he wasn't in more stuff. There we go. The guy that played Damien in the mask. He was, <laughs> yes, he was. C C Carlos, bang. He was also Zed in Pulp Fiction. Zed's no, dead, what? baby. Yeah, he was, he was a great actor. Yeah, hero. Only a true oh. hero. Knowledge is power. In that so, case, uh, that, that, that guy's the most powerful player in the toy game because that's all he's got is a book of knowledge. That's why he's not. That's why he's only a small figure because if he was too big, then game changer. Too much. Too much. It's true. Much. It's true. Oh, Red look, Carl... Yes, he was. Carl's yes, got he knowledge. Was. Yes, he was. I still, I don't. I still love Usual Suspects. Even I know it's got Kevin Spacey in it. I don't care. It's still a great film. Great thing. Yeah, I've seen that. Well, right, mate. So, uh, kick us off, Dan. Okay. Have you got any new worms this week? I have. Well, I have and I haven't. I have got some of the of the of the series, but they're no, they're not actually worms. But this is this completes my Earthworm Jim carded collection. So, uh, I, I, I wonder what uh, my Instagram picture is going to be tomorrow. So, uh, so yeah, we got we got Bob, the goldfish with number four. Oh, hang on. Oh, you can make me big. What? He's a goldfish. He looks massive. Bob, Bob's the goldfish. Bob's there. He's in a he's in a goldfish bowl. You see? Oh, okay, okay. And then number four is like the henchman, and you put the gold. You put Bob in his hand, ping it back, and he fires him. All right, okay, okay. So I have got carded Bob, and number four, I have got the carded hench rats, which is cool. And the one that was that is the kind of I guess the hardest or hard was the hardest for me to find. Uh in this country is uh the carded psycho which is uh which is so you got like best. an interchangeable head is that is that a green head you put on him no or no, no just... that that is a uh, major mucus his little sidekick these are such like turtles figures it's crazy dude dude playmates it's yeah the... yeah no no we, we, i think it was last week we talked about that but yeah 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 yeah. no 100 percent um yeah and i'm, I'm quite excited because i've sent a bunch over to uh to Ed, so hopefully they get there in Belgium, all right. And the other thing that I got a while ago, I don't know if you guys remember, I was getting all uh, excited about the fact that uh, I had an Axe Cop toy. Oh, yeah, I yeah, picked yeah. Up Ken for you, I think. Yes, so Ken, the lovely Ken from uh, Back to the Toys, uh, got it for me. And I love Axe Cop, it's uh, it was a it was a it was, it's a dark horse graphic novel and a, a web series, but it was written by a dude who basically this this guy who was like 28 at the time, he had a brother who was about six, and it's all all it was all written by the six year old. Uh, so it's it's very, very silly, but very funny. Um, so yeah, so I already had Axe Cop, and I'm like, well, I kind of have to get this now. I've got the box, but I took it out of the box because it's the best thing ever. It's Axe Cop riding Wexler, which is a uh, which is a dinosaur with mini guns for arms, which is his like ride. Basically, this is written by a six year old. I thought when I saw that picture, I thought you'd mm. take you'd taken the cop out of the box and you already had the dinosaur. Nope, this is this is okay, from Axe Cop. Okay. And then and then I'm like, well, now I've got those two. There's only two more to get for the, to have the whole run. So uh, I have the avocado soldier. If you can see that, it's an avocado with arms and legs. And has a unicorn horn, a, a magic uh, recorder like flute, and a and like a Tech Nine. That's that's the Avocado Soldier from Axe Cop. And then uh, the main <laughs> bad guy, who Andy, you, you, you're going to have to get one of these. It's Doctor Doodoo and the Doodoo Soldier, which is just a big sort of doodoo. But I don't know if nice. you can see how cool it's really bad. Like Doctor Doodoo is the uh, is the little guy. That that's the main bad guy. He's just a, a furious pile of doodoo. 
and he, he gets like he's got, he's got a tiny little uh, see-through stand and everything, so you can stand him in midair. Like, uh, what, why did you zoom in? What the fuck did? We get um, reaction reaction shots, reactions, close-up reactions. No, I'm just looking at it. Yeah. So yeah, so I've completed my FOM gym carded run, which is excellent, and I've completed awesome. my my axe cop run, which I um didn't didn't even know I wanted, but here we are. Never even heard of axe cop. Ah, uh, it's brilliant. It's the best. Get here, Brad. It did, Brad, this is what Dan does. Dan shows you all these nice things, and then you're like, oh, I, I, I wouldn't mind some of that. He's, he's an enabler. Oh, well, I'm sort of an enabler. Definitely are. And, and Andy's on top because he got here. I was eating uh, I was eating my dinner, and Andy got here <laughs> first. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's how it works. Whoever, whoever site logs on first gets to be closer to Aaron and not obscured by the comments. Right. You know, right? <laughs> and that's my, pickups. That's, my, that's my pickups. That's my pickups. That's very good. Cool, 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 cool. You got anything, Aaron? Um, um, do you know what the craziest thing about Axe Cop is? It's such a good show. Genuinely brilliant show. Like, watch it. The people who do the voices as well. It's, um, uh, who's the guy that plays uh, Ron Ron Swanson from uh, Parks and Rec? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does a voice for it. But £9 posted. £9 posted. £19.99 posted. It's a... You telling me that Axe Cop riding a, a, a sunglassed T Rex with machine with like minigun arms isn't worth twenty quid? Come on! I mean, I, I can see them all being taken off of eBay right now. Everyone yeah, well, will be like, "I've already got them. I've already got them." So I don't care. So hey, go, go ahead. Let, let's let's make Axe Cop a bit a thing. It's the best. Honestly, go YouTube. Just type in Axe Cop. It's funny as hell. I love it. But that could be that could be a contender for toy lines that should have been more sought after. Uh, Maybe. I mean, I think it's a brilliant toy line, but you have to really enjoy Axe Cop to understand why a Dr. Doodoo is funny. It was written by a six-year-old and then brought, brought, brought to life by like an adult. Yeah, it's great. None of us are mature enough to not find it funny. It's always going to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I might as well just, I might as well just log off. <laughs> is that, is that, a, Dr. Do is that, is that a Dr. Doodoo joke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's> crap. <laughs> so, what, 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 Aaron, have you picked anything up this week? Uh, yes. So, very lucky. I went and did a little shopping today. So, we popped into a Asda, which you don't normally go to, but uh, thought as we were near it, we will go there. And they had some retros. So, I picked up. Oh, nice. This is the only one they had. A bit glare there. Try and move it so it doesn't. Uh. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, the Boba Fett retro. So the only one they had left yeah. of is Boba it, Fett. That... Is it the same mould as the original? I believe so. so try and get it, no, I think they changed them slightly just so people can't get all yeah. annoyed about them being sold as vintage. I don't know. I'm guessing like somewhere there, on there's it. There's got to be some, yeah, there's what, got to be what, some differences. What, what, probably got a year date on it or something. And oh, yeah. It. Open, open it and find out. Rip it open. <laughs> Should I do like a... Shame you can't. Shame. Well, obviously they need to put that on there. But shame that's like not a sticker. It'd be like opening vintage Mandalorian figure. <laughs> vintage Mandalorian figure. Uh, well, he's a Mandalorian technically. He is a Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, yeah, quite right. Who, um, who out there? <laughs> <laughs> but um, what's it? Uh, I should stick it on the uh, what's it? Uh, that Echo Group. <laughs> Echo Base. Oh. <laughs> Great group. Just take it far too seriously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that was, that was a good little find. And also the the legend that is Johnny from Monkeys Emporium uh sended sended me sent me sended me a little freebie, a little gift. Ooh. So he sent me it's nothing, it nothing crazy, but it's kind of yeah, nudes. I was hoping it was nudes. Johnny nudes. A copy of action figure nudes toy That's review. Cool. What year is from 19, 1999. It's got All a right. snake pliskin on it. I'm down with that. Yeah, and it's got um I'll try and just it's got episode uh nine uh, sorry episode nine episode one figures yeah. big thing on Max Steel in there. Ah. Uh little piece on generation two transformers. But something that you guys would uh, sorry, I'll make this a little bit something that you guys would uh be very interested in. Axe Cop. <laughs> yeah. Hasbro's. 
Yeah. So not ninety nine nine, I guess. Is it's got a whole section on Galoob WCW figures. Oh man, the, the the series that could have been, but no, the world didn't need twenty seven Ric Flairs and forty nine Lex Lugers. But ugh. oh, well, can, look, I have I can I have an Arn Anderson big... with a bald spot? Those giant I ones. Have... Are cool. yeah, so I don't know cool. if those giant ones ever got made or anything. No, there are big ones. The, the, the only one I ever really wanted out of that was the big. Uh, is it Sid Justice in WCW or Sid Vicious? Sid Vicious WWF, wasn't it? Yeah, I think Sid Justice. Sid Justice or Psycho Sid, whatever. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I can see in there. Yeah. That is, what year was that? I thought the Gloob came out. No, I think noise. this is like a, a look is back it? at the. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, that makes more sense. Okay. okay. I. Um, yeah, uh, Lewis Gloob Toys, 1990 to 91. But what I did like about it, and obviously this is pre before like the internet became like a huge thing. Is was that pricing? yeah but all the toy shops have just got adverts in there and all their pricing yeah. oh, wow. so uh let's have a l quick look how, mu how much for a uh have they got the the uk um there's a there's a wcw galoob figure i can't remember what it's called now but he's got like a he's got like a, a, a an axe handle ah oh. well a mock yeah, oh, mock Jurassic Park, Alan Grant, yeah, Dennis Nedry, and Ellie Sattler was fifteen bucks. Nice so each. Back then, that was about seven pound fifty. <laughs> uh, mint in box condor mask, forty bucks. Nice. It still seems quite seven, expensive. It is seventy-five yeah. bucks. But yeah, no, it's just kind of. Well, that was a very nice. Uh, that's a very nice gift from Johnny. But Johnny's a very nice man. He is. So big up Johnny Monkeys Emporium. I think there was. I think I try and find it. No, uh, I might because I've lost where it was. But that was like mock He-Man figures were like fifty bucks each. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the only ones in there that are probably might even be more expensive there than they are. But then that was obviously when Episode One came out. Was yeah. all the vintage Star Wars? But it yeah. was crazy how all the other um toy lines that weren't very popular back then are like 30 bucks for a box t-man figure and now it's like ridiculous do you know what i mean yeah 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 well i think i think a lot of people went in their lofts and got the original star wars figures down so it's all about obviously condition now but last 17 still you know command yeah. a price but yeah you, you're not yeah i think hopefully we've seen a lot we won't have done but i'd love to think we've seen the last of the star wars tax at, uh car boots of some janky old yellowed up snow trooper with no 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 nothing just limbs are just like no, yeah he's got he's got he's got he's got at the same time he's got somehow he's got super wobbly legs but the arms have been glued together yeah you want you want you want, you want what you want eight quid because it's star wars mm. okay and also because johnny's a legend and just now a uh, uh, protection wrapping extraordinaire mm. he uh made very bubble wrap for my dib dabs Oh yeah, yeah my, my dip bags were the whole wrap from it as well. <laughs> they're, not, they're not anymore, yeah, but they uh, were a bubble wrap. <laughs> well, so... so Johnny, if you watch this, if you re-watch this or whatever, yeah, cheers for that, you. bro. Thank you very much. That's a good segue. So Star Wars and Johnny, what have you got this week, Andy? Well, I got uh, Red Royal Guard from Mr. Johnny at Monkey's Aborium. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, I'm not hiding damage. It's damaged. Again, as I said the last time when I showed the Gamorrean card and Tebow, like, I'm not, I can't go for pristine stuff. But this, uh, the Red Royal Guard is awesome. I always wish they kicked ass in the film. It's such a shame you don't really see them. Um, yeah. They, they, but they left an impression on me as a kid when I first saw them of like, they are awesome. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty glad to get it carded. It was one of, it's what, I don't know if you agree. I, I agree. I thought they're brilliant. I like the toys and I like how, mysterious and awesome they are in the emperor's throne room but yeah. were you the same as me that i was genuinely excited that in the in the in the newer films they kind of they made like different red guards um uh, the blue and, ones i think it was looking like senate guards yeah but they also had red ones didn't they they had they, like was it in the last film they had red like oh the, the ones that the guys brennan yeah yeah and i was like that's pretty cool that's like that's like a next uh step up from you know 
Those ones. Yeah, that you no, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't. Give me a well, give, give, me, well, give me the original Red Royal Guard kicking ass in his long red cape. That's I like the I ones. Oh, I that helmet is awesome. Oh. I got a couple of Black Series ones, and you can move the uh, cape, and it shows this like really elaborate kind of cool armor they had. Okay, okay. Yeah, and so some of the newer um, three point seven five figures they brought out had like when you pull their capes to the side, they got this really cool under like armor. So yeah, I think there's a comic pack that I've got. I think it's a Prim Crimson Guard, uh, and it comes yeah. with two different Royal Guards. They're red and black, but yeah, they're, they're, they look pretty sweet. They're cool. Um, nice. But yeah, so that was from Johnny. Uh, I also got this. I, I actually ordered this. Can I say ordered? I didn't order it. I bought it a few weeks ago um, from... I actually have no idea. It came from Europe, so it took a little bit longer to turn up. But <laughs> yeah, it is a bootleg triple threat snake. The Mexican version. This is yellow. He's like hollow plastic, but there's no movability in his arms whatsoever. They're just fixed. Nice. About about four people in the entire world went, that's amazing. And everyone else yeah. went, yeah, yeah, well, you collect triple right. threat snakes. Uh, that's cool. yeah, so no, four no, people. I'm, more. I'm trying to think how I've got two Mexican bootlegs, three Greek bootlegs. And I think I want to say an Indonesian one, but I could be wrong with that. I think I've got an Indonesian bat, not a snake. Was there was there some like quite big Greek battle beast bootleg thing going on? Because all the all, all the ones that I see seem to be in Greece. Yeah, they did they did uh they did the line of the first series, but all in different colours, like muscle. Right. Like you have right. to if you want to collect a full set of them, you have to get every one in like six different colours. And then obviously certain colours are harder to get. Did they than did they do they do A, Bs and Cs in, in each colour? I, I don't think so. No. I think so they imagine, only just did them in colour variant. Imagine that if you had to get three of each colour. Yeah, no, that's game over. I, I, I'll pick them up every now and then. Like that that wasn't crazy expensive even with the um postage and stuff. Well it was free, you won it in a raffle, Claire. It's fine. No, 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 Claire knows I'm that that I brought that as I say a few weeks ago. Uh, that's and cool. the Red Royal was just uh, uh just and then this uh, this is the last thing I got. I'm surprised they turned up so quickly. Uh, do you ever can watch something on eBay? You, you're looking for eBay, you find something, it triggers your mind. You're like, oh yeah, I'm going to watch that. I'm not going to buy it. I'm just going to watch it, just to have a look at it. Mm. And you're like, you're looking and you're like, oh, I do want them, but no, I'm going to keep putting it off, putting it off. And then eventually I got sent an offer from the seller. I was, it, they were up for 40 quid, which was already a good deal. But then I got sent an offer for 30 quid posted. And I was like, right, they're even going to turn up in a jiffy bag. But for 30 <laughs> quid, I'm going to give it a risk. Because if they or turn they're, up damage, I'll open it. Or they're that big. You got done yeah. on the size. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I'm looking at the total wrong thing. So today I was very pleasantly surprised. The company yeah. has been set. Yeah. McFarlane yeah. uh, extreme kiss figures. Th th 30 quid for the lot is that's an unbelievable price. 30 quid. And Tenere. And no, it's, four Tenere. it's four of them. It's four of them. Four of them. Yeah, he's got, oh, he got all, I, I thought you just got two of them when you said earlier on, but all four for 30 yeah. quid, that's an unbelievable all, price. All, all four for 30 quid. Brilliant. But, like, the packaging was like, like, you know, it was sexy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy to have these weird kids figures. When you, open, when you open the box, did you fire a love gun? I did fire my love gun. That's <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Like, they've even got like, they've got like hair. Like, not like plastic hair. Like, fire well, it, I guess it's plastic hair because it's not real hair, but like, McFarland, uh, don't muck yeah. around, mate. That's quality. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, they're, they're awesome. Yeah. But one thing that's concerned me, and I'm now thinking I might have to open them to figure out the... Well, I don't know. I'm still tempted to open them just because they were so cheap and they look awesome. They, it, all of them come with an individual letter. Right, so there's four of them, so it should be Kiss, right? Yeah. But, so you've got Jing Simmons comes with a K. Yes. got Paul Stanley with an S. Yes. Ace with an S. Yes, and then for some reason, box or the animal Peter comes with a record. Is it not behind it? No, this is the problem. I'm gonna have to I open it. Find I, out. Don't, I don't want to be that guy, but it is the same set, isn't it? Because they yeah, didn't, no, no, no. Was, uh, originally I thought that I was like, oh, this is why I bought the Jeep because it's not a full set, but it is. There isn't, a full, give it a there isn't a fifth figure, is there? No, there wouldn't be. No, no. unless there's a stripper, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> little fact for you, Andy. Uh, 
Kiss, the song by Kiss, God Gave Rock and Roll to You, that was in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, was the first yep. song I ever bothered to tab out in its entirety on drums back in the day. There you go, in the 90s. Very good. Yeah. Well, might, there might actually be an I and an S in here. It could be. You, you, might, you might be doubling up, mate. I say get them open. I think they're well good. Let them breathe, baby. Let them I breathe. think, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe not right now tonight, but... No, 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 but at some point, because when you've got space to set them up and stuff, there's no point opening them if you can't it's display them with the sign and stuff. That's a lot for 30 quid. That's got to be at least, well. that's got to be at least, but like, a, that's got to be a medium parcel, mate. That's got to be at least four pounds, uh, four pound 20 postage. And they, oh, man, yeah. It was, it was 30, good. 430 now, sorry, 430. It was good. So, yeah, that was, that was my week. Oh, Andy. Andy. Yeah. P poor Rick has just, uh, uh, wah, wah. but that's what? okay that's okay because you've only got to buy peter chris but it does mean you have two peter chris's and, and in general you don't even need one peter chris he's the worst but, member of kiss but, but he was the kiss the kiss 94 tour exclusive yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> only, oh, the same sellers there only 1800 pound for the one figure that you now have to buy otherwise your your, your setup says yeah, uh, that means I'm, I'm, I guess I'm not opening them. Anyone want to sell? You can do this for fifty quid. <laughs> it's all for sale. <laughs> oh, amazing, amazing. Well, uh, well, well, welcome. Hello. At least, at least you put my uh, my quest. I don't even have to Google it to find out. You've told me. Thank you. Oh, that That's kind good. of dude. Don't even worry about it, man. Oh. don't even sweat it. We'll find it for you. But now do I have to get all four with records as well? No, 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 no. Go the other way. <laughs> yeah, do you think? <laughs> Played well, 25 no, we... of a figure on Facebook. Couldn't find him anyway. Got these two in Asda. Thoughts on overpricing. Well, the, the problem is, uh, Daniel, um, you got to take into consideration you could driven around and to like 10 Asda stores and never find it. Or you could have just gone on eBay, bought it there and then, and it was in your house in a couple of days. But so how, how much do you spend on it? Yeah, can I ask how much are they? Nine ninety-seven. Oh, and he paid twenty-five quid. Andy, Andy, can I jump in quickly on eBay right now? Twenty pound, buy it now plus three pound postage. Peter Chris Ultra Action Figure. You want to get on that, mate? Because if, if there's only another one in this country. It's twenty-five quid, and then it gets into silly money in America. Someone in the chat now while you're on here is going to buy it. <laughs> That's yeah, 60 man. quid, man. Everyone knows I'm technically challenged. I can't go on eBay while I'm using my laptop. <laughs> do, you, do, you me, do you want me to buy it for you now? No, 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 no. no. I, sure? I need to, ah, uh, some I need to check, check my spending. Well, do you want me to get it for you? I'll just get it for you. Get it for you. Do you want me to get it for no, you? No, no, We'll sort it out. All right, we'll sort it out later. Wait, see, this is Bradley's tempting me again. What is this guy doing? <laughs> spend. Spend. <laughs> Really enjoying the recent stream, lads. Keep it up with good content. We appreciate it. Oh, well, thanks, mate. Thank you very much. Um, it's hard making content at the moment, but we'll try and make uh, fools of ourselves. Is it, is it? Is it hard? <laughs> we got, I thought I bought a whole set. I think you're the only one's hard over that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's true. Cheers, Tats. About like an evening, mate. How you doing? Hope you're well. Mate. Very bold toys. Welcome, mate. Evening. Daniel also asked original Toy Story toys, yay or nay? Not for me because uh, I was never a huge fan. It's a personal thing. Uh, I love the I've gone off you, off you. Love the film. The toys are cool, but I know like certain ones are like really expensive. Like the prospect are there's like ridiculous money, so I wouldn't I pay think, it for them. I think I cool. might. I might have a problem with toys that are of toys. I'm trying to think. I'm sure I've had this conversation with some before, but like, if 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 the the thing itself is a toy and I make a toy of it, like I don't really understand where everyone went ballistic over what was he called? I don't even seen it, but Sporky or something. Is that oh the the fork the spoon? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the spoon, like Toy Story Four or whatever that was. Right, but it, like, that's, all, it, that's all just hype though to try and get the parents to spend money on. It. Of of course, but but th like anything that the, the toy is a toy of a toy, I just yeah. find irritating. I don't know why. Like, why would I want a Mr. Potato Head Toy Story when you could just buy a Mr. Potato Head? Because it doesn't have Toy Story written on it. 
Well, that's true. I'm sold. Bye. Spend money. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, when I was younger, I apparently I wouldn't eat any other spaghetti other than the Thomas the Tank Engine ones, like the little ones that look like Tom. Apparently, yeah. So what my mum used to do was buy normal spaghetti, stick it in the the a, a Thomas the Tank Engine one, and be like, "There you go." Pour it in the thing. You see how uh, you see how sporty he is Andy. You know, my mum would have done if I'd have said that. She'd have gone, "Cool, well, I guess you're not eating then until uh, until you grow up and eat what you're given, or you can go out and earn your own money and, and and you can make your own food." You know, but it's all right because I have my toys now. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone full, full circle. You're okay. <laughs> Do yeah. have a snow trooper. Yeah, down there are two versions of the avocado soldier. I refuse to believe that. Can you tell me, badges? Tell me what they are. I, I didn't. I, I did look. I didn't see. I didn't see. There's two different versions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it better not have the Peter Chris figure. Take it out. Take that Peter Chris figure out immediately. Yeah. Right now. Battle beast man. Battle beast are cool. Battle beast are cool. Very cool. Paul. Hi, Paul. Evening, Toy Scavenger. Love for the Toy Story figures. Alan, hello, mate. How you doing? Hello, hello. I think the Toy Story figures are cool. Dude, up. I, I, but I think I, it's just because we were slightly too old for the film, if that makes sense. Well, me, 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 me and you probably were. Like, yeah, I, Toy, Toy Story, for me, it wasn't a film that came out and I went, oh, I'll get toys from that because it was a, it was, I was too old for it. But 100% Ed is spot on there that I actually even thought that That's when cool. the dino turned up. I'm like, guy, it looks, it's, it's, it's like the same posture. Even the head looks a bit like the, yeah. Uh, yeah, it does it, look. Even the the Green Army soldiers in Toy Story actually look like the Green Army soldiers you can buy. It's funny that. Yeah. <laughs> well, like like, like the <laughs> slinky. That's what I've seen them before. It's it's almost like it's almost like they didn't invent the slinky dog for Toy Story. I don't know what was going on. And do you know why they use a pig for the uh, bank thing? Because he's a piggy bank. Get out of here! All of a sudden, yeah. I'm back in my Toy Story game. Yeah, I'm alright. Mind blown. Mind blown. That's for the discussion, chaps. Great content. Oh, appreciate it, Dan. I can Thank only assume much. I can only assume Mr. Warrington is referring to the talk of uh cults and cheese and pineapple hedgehogs. Uh, nothing we talk about <laughs> nothing we, we we discuss about toys is of any interest to anyone. <laughs> it's more of a rambling. Yeah. Yeah. Dinosaur figures with minigun arms. Love it. Oh, it, it. It is amazing. Good Harvest, welcome. Good chat, don't mate. Really enjoyed it. They, uh, Blue Harvest finished. They, they, does do, their they own. do them like three times a week. Uh, twice a week, but I think I think they're throwing a cheeky one in tonight. I think I don't know if that ever got. They decided to. They were doing a late one. I think tonight. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I, do, I usually end up watching them back. I don't. I don't catch a lot of them live, but I always. It's always on my watch list. Like. The watch list all like you sub and you get what people are releasing. It's always like they're, they're up there. I'm like, they must do it like every day. <laughs> and oh, cool. sh sh Shabby Geek, he, he pops up a lot as well. His videos are well funny. Yeah. And I don't know, I don't know where Mark gets all the money to buy all the black, literally Black Series. Like, it's like every two seconds, it's like Black Series video. Black Series video. It's like, dude. He's making us normal them. people look like we're not collectors. I <laughs> you know, right? I know, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, Bad Sorry, man. Hello, Evening, Darren. Derek. Yeah, mate. Badger, I'm pretty sure that is the normal avocado soldier with the label taken off. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> that's that is not me being being pedantic. I've just I've just looked myself and I've compared. <laughs> And I think it's just uh, genuinely. I think it's the same. I, mean, I, I could be wrong, but I think it's the same. Unless I'm not, I'm not, not seeing very, it right. No, 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 it's just sun damage. Nah, there's, there's no, there's no <laughs> official avocado T Rex axe got variant. It, it's exclusive yellow snow trooper from 1964. <laughs> I've got a couple of them in the cabinet. I see some yellow troopers. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a variant. <laughs> <laughs> I've got them all. <laughs> Hey, you guys, you, you know that if it was, I would buy it. But you also know my feelings on variants, so I would buy it, but I'd be incredibly angry about it. So um, You sound very angry that someone even brought up the idea you don't have the full set. 
<laughs> no, I'm all right with that. I, I, I wish they'd make more. It's just absolutely brilliant. But I just can't see anywhere that there's a variant on it. So I, I absolutely am happy to be proven wrong. But, uh, you know, it's £9, guys. I'll, I'll, if, it, if it's out there, I'll get it. Yes, Ed, it's 100%. It's all like that. Ah, uh, Paul. Oh, trust someone that knows about toys to tell me about toys. Yeah, no, Jesus. Right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dan's is, Dan's is, so old he can remember the original uh, TV advert for the first Mr. Potato Head boy. Yeah, all right, mate. What, the, one you, the one that was actually a potato that you like. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck the bits in. Mum, can, can I have a Switch this year? No, I, can I have a PlayStation 5? We were like, Mum, can I can I have a thing that, that a crest head that I can grow my own hair on this? Uh... <laughs> crest heads were good. They were good, mate, but they're, they're not really the pinnacle of uh, kids' entertainment right now. I'd imagine. I don't have children, but if I did, they'd get a crest head and they'd be happy about it. Love it, love it, love it. Dan, how, how's YouTube life? Man, I've got fo I've got five followers, and I've and I've given it. I've, I've properly thought about making something for it. So we're getting. So you're zero to five at the moment. You'll think that's like record of a. If that's, in, that's in one week, pretty much. So I mean, when I'm when I'm 140, I'll be somewhere of about 10 percent of what Ed's got. So yeah. <laughs> we're getting we're getting there. Eleven o'clock, guys. Oh, eleven o'clock. Guys, chat's going off. We haven't got discussion. Have you seen the oh. trailer? The Mighty Ducks. I saw it pop up. I think I think that I think someone asked that couple, last week, and I kept. I said like, "Yeah, yeah I'm going to watch it." Or someone messaged me saying, "Watch it," and I, I haven't got around to it. I will. So uh, that, it's yeah. basically what if we remake Cobra Kai, but did with Mighty Ducks instead? Dude, right, the, okay. the, the success of Cobra Kai is going to uh, influence a lot of that. There's going to be a lot of fringe stuff that people went, "Oh, what if what if we did this in a different way?" I wonder yeah. how long this success is going to last, though, to be fair. It's yeah, really, really getting a bit weak. I really want to watch the Mighty Ducks, the new series, but I'm kind of a bit meh the fact that the Mighty Ducks is, is going to be about a different team. Yeah. And you, you Aaron, kinda... you, just, you just wait till they ruin Space Jam for you. You wait. Oh. <laughs> Don't. It's going to happen. Are any the originals oh. in it? It's like, is Emilio in it? Is Joshua yeah, Jackson? Emilio's in it. Is it Joshua yeah. Jackson? <laughs> Charlie, played by Joshua Jackson. Or does, any, does anyone else know why every time someone says Emilio Estevez, me and Aaron both go Emilio? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> I tell definitely me. Know one, I definitely I know one person next door to me knows. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hannah would know. Also, Emilio. did you see what? Did you see what uh, song I chose in the? Uh... Yes. <laughs> You guys got a secret chat or something? Wasn't it? Yeah, we've got we've got a little WhatsApp group, mate. It's called yeah. for cool kids for cool kids only, and it's just me and Aaron. And you have to Ooh. wear black frame glasses and have a black hat to be in it. And you're I'm trying. It. I'm trying. I just it's, don't have a hat. And I don't it's like called one night at the toy division. <laughs> one night. <laughs> Glenn is... I, hate, I hate to say Glenn it, on. but the the answer is 100% eBay, and there is still some stuff on there right now. Get on it. Get on the Axe Cop. And watch the Axe Cop as well. And uh, yeah, just enjoy Axe Cop. It's the best. Reminds me of the Tick. If you like the Tick, you probably like Axe Cop. Yeah, I know, dude. We're looking into it. We are going. We, we are. We are going. We are going deep. No, no, but not deep. You're going to get onto the prototype Axe Cop figure soon. <laughs> yeah. If you if you prototype. if you measure, it's like we're getting to big boss man territory where uh, one of the axe handles is curved in a slightly different way. Oh, is it? <laughs> yes, yes, but that's that's the spirit, mate. Yeah. It's, uh, it's only yeah. nine quid. Don't worry about it. Just but buy them both, and then you can investigate if it is just the fact the label's been taken off. Yeah, and then you can tell me if you've got the super rare one and charge me seventeen Easy. times the amount. Andy, what's the blue shark behind? Oh well, it's I, I I can't get it out because there's stuff in front of the cabinet door, but it's a um the sh battle beast shark base. It's a battle beast base, which I never battle knew they even beast. existed until I met Andy, and I loved battle beasts back in the day, but I never knew they existed. There's yeah, the bases. 
Well, there was three of them. No, uh, you yeah, know, it, it is a base, but it, it starts off as a shark, uh, and then you can open it up and it becomes a little bracer. It's pretty cool. It's very cool. It's very, 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 very cool. Uh, feel free to look at any of my videos on YouTube. I have one. Yeah. <laughs> I have Carlos, on. yeah. Carlos, in my mind, that's the only thing that could save Space Jam. Oh. <laughs> As if oh. it was, a, if the whole thing was based in court, and it was a bunch of cartoon characters, just like, and it was re properly serious, just like making accusations at R. Kelly. I'd watch what, that. Accusations also. over Bugs Bunny, or what's the girl called in uh, Space? That's the the girl uh, rabbit. Angela. Why well, am I thinking Angela? No. So did you did you make cartoon eyes and bang your heart, and your heart came out of your chest? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <In the public>. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <ooh -ah. laughs> With a woman present, you sick man. Yeah. I said no. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I feel your uh, body functions need to be controlled. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. There's no uh, axe cop is now done. Bad wow. Yeah, bought the lot. <laughs> yeah, still out there. If it's the but, same seller that Dan bought his from, he's probably sitting there going, "I've had this on eBay for six years. How have I just sold it yeah. all in three nights?" <laughs> Andy, Andy, the seller is Mr. Dan Plastic Limited dot com. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely. <laughs> yes, the, the, web comic, the, web, the web actual, comics were... the actual ones that um, Badgers has just bought are the ones you've just shown off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there just. That, I, I bought, I bought this. News. I bought this. It's great. Taking pictures of it, putting it on eBay. No, they are, they are <laughs> excellent. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the web comics are great, and, and the YouTube, um, the stuff they did, and the actual comics, the, the Dark Horse stuff is is excellent. Lola Bunny. There you go. Yeah, that's a tagline. Lola. Right. He was a chunker. Guys, as I've said before, I'm being criticised heavily. I've never seen Space Jam. I, yeah, I remember seeing it, but not. I don't know. So before we jump into uh, the topic of tonight, which we've uh, <laughs> kind of blown over a little bit, really. <laughs> but yeah. we'll, we'll get into it. Guys, I need something to, uh, Paul Toy Scavenger. Guys, I need something to start collecting. I've got deep into various Jurassic Park figures. I need to get into something else. Any suggestions? Warriors of Koran. Uh, can I suggest Axe Cop? <laughs> oh, all oh, the kids are talking about it. Uh, I don't know. Depends. How much, Paul? How much do you want to spend? I was going to say, if, if, I think Paul's got the reach to do Battle Beast Carded. That's what I reckon he start collecting. Carded Battle Beast. Oh man, and you're getting graded. Graded carded battle beasts, or or um gra or graded carded dino riders. Cha ching, cha ching. I don't know. Uh, oh, you, well, yeah, I know we're going to talk about it later, so I won't bring it up. Well, I don't know. Let's, let's talk. Let's let's talk about it right now. So me and Andy have the same. We were we were thinking about uh, lines that weren't popular back in the day. And that maybe should have been more popular in our humble opinions. And uh, one of the things that we kind of, I think, all three of us separately decided was 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 one of them. I, I, dude, we picked the same you figure pick as well. That's crazy. I'll get another one. I get another one. I get the donut. Ugh. This is my the hot dog's my favourite one. And the hot dog's the best. Um, we're talking about food fighters, and I, one of the reasons why I think they've got a, a, a sort of a, a new popularity is a because they're brilliant and they're ridiculous and they're fully. 80s nonsense silly toys they're actually brilliant i love the material as well they're kind of squashy yeah it's like it's but, like a squeaky dog toy yeah but but this the food fighters and um the other thing we were talking about army ants i think it was uh, have you guys seen uh, it's not buzzfeed but every list online that's like 15 figures you won't believe they made and the worst toys from the 80s and the craziest figures from your childhood it's always food fighters yeah. and army ants but food fighters in particular and the vehicles are great, and the figures are great, but they're um, they seem to be going for a lot, a lot of oh. money these days. And... Wait, but the yeah, a lot of the toys that weren't wanted. Sorry, why were they not popular at the time? Look at them, dude. They're ridiculous. I mean, they are ridiculous. So why are you? Why have you this, bought this them? One, now? Why, this why have you a... bought them now? Because they're ridiculous. Because they're awesome. Because, because they're, they're ridiculous. But why didn't you do that? When they first came out, because children didn't want. I, think to... I would have been about two. Yeah, children. <laughs> chil children didn't want to play with food like this, and I don't think adults collected toys in the same way they do now. But you look back and you go, "Dude, we talk about this every week. 
why would someone make this? They had a whole meeting and they were like, dude, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. It's a million dollar idea. And everyone went, tell me more about it. And uh, they came up with food fighters and, and it got through and it passed and they made them. It's ridiculous. And I love it for that. It's so silly. Did they have a cartoon? No, I don't think so. I think no, it's okay, just a food it's it's a toy line. line. Yeah. Now, was, was it one of those ones where if the toy line did well, we'll make a cartoon for it? Possibly. Or is it one of... This one's a cookie. They've got a face on it. But they had like good goodies and baddies. I can't remember. I don't know if it's savory versus sweet or something. But yeah, maybe because there's ice cream. I've got a few more as well. Have you seen the vehicle? It's like a it's like an egg carton thing. It's wicked. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, they, I think they're just really they're really cool. Um, Very they're silly. Very silly. But this I, is where I, I was imagine getting... today's parents going. Actually, I was going to say today's parents being mad. But there is a toy line now that is similar. The Oh, we bought yeah. Dan a couple of years back, Aaron. It's grocery, like a pizza. Pizza. grocery, grocery yes. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're very similar to Food Fighters. Yeah, you got me some, didn't you, for uh, for Christmas? Yeah, it's one yeah. of those things where it's like it, it, it's weird how they were not popular back then, but they are popular now. And because they weren't popular back in the day, there's not many about it. There's not much about, so they're really expensive. Uh, what, what's well, funny? Not... I, I think you know that they weren't that popular because. There doesn't seem to be a shortage of them, like on card. Like a lot of them didn't get sold, but yeah. they, but they do, they they do. Um, they're pricey. They're pricey. Uh, if I'm totally honest, too pricey for what they are. I, I was, yeah. I, I, dude, I got three of these from a car boot that we were all at. If you remember, that was another point I was going to make. Like maybe that one of the reasons it did get popular, or could have been one of the reasons why the Sausage Party film got made. I don't. I think we are putting too much faith in Sausage Party being saying anyone cared about. These are popular because people like we, pe, pe, seriously pe, people like weird toys, weird things. You don't what get thing, much weirder than this film Sausage Party. What, what Andy? Andy, why do we collect Muscle Men? They are ridiculous. There's people out. You, 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 you've you've seen the groups. You're in the groups. You invited me to the groups. There's people that like live for it. They're ridiculous, tiny. Did I invite you to the one where we all dress up and meet up once a month? Once a month? I know I do every weekend, oh, mate. Different group, different group, don't worry. Different group. <laughs> yeah. Mate, so, I, I know, I, the muscle, the muscle are different. Like the muscles, I love the muscle sculpts. That's why I collect the muscle men. And I think, I mean, I, I can't tell, but I, I don't know the facts and figures, but I imagine the muscle sales were probably higher than food fires. Just because they were. But again, muscle men, you got them in packs and they were like, uh, I know that they yeah, sold yeah, yeah. muscle men were, were everywhere. But basically, I don't know if food fighters were for sale in Japan. I know they were in UK and USA, but I don't know if they're in Japan. If they weren't in Japan, then you're missing a massive market, whereas muscle men were primarily in Japan. But we used to, yeah. we used to trade muscle men in the, in the flipping uh, playground when I was at school. They were, they were a big deal. Muscle men were a big deal. Yeah. But yeah, no, they, they started in Japan. Yeah. I can't pronounce it. Kinukimen. Yeah, so right? yeah I, can't, I can't pronounce it, but yeah, we're on the same wavelength. We're thinking of the same thing. Um, I'm going to yeah. use Tats and Toys one into a segue that I'm going to do, but this is kind of where I'll go with it. I think Kenner Terminator Toys should have been more realistic to the films. That way, I think they would have been more popular then and to this day, as much as I love Terminator. True, but then technically, no kid should have been watching that film. And they were aimed yeah. at kids. Which, which and, is a problem I think happened a lot in the nineties. Yeah, and and that's why a lot a lot of toy lines weren't as maybe uh, popular as they should have been. Again, I'm sure Aaron has a few. Yeah, like and like the Kenner aliens, the um, the Terminator do think, figures. Do you, do you think the aliens and Terminators weren't popular? Well, I think they were popular, but I'm only going by my experience. Just or, thinking of the toy was, line. Which mm. so you've got the Terminator that looks a little bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger with the black jacket, the purple top, takes armor. No, no, no. Yeah, that th these these Terminator toys they, they fall into that annoying thing of oh, here's loads of toys that have nothing to do with the films. But Terminator has that one figure, and it's and it's it's Arnie with sunglasses, a black front, and a minigun, and you clip his back, and his front comes down, and he's and he's got and his shoulder pads are essentially a, a missile launcher. As a figure, I think that is is the best looking Terminator figure of that line. But everyone loves the one that you change the arm out for the rocket yeah, launcher. I'm not sure that one. Everyone, that everyone, one. Like, everyone loves that one. I've, I've got like you, you put the black 
uh, Arnie on the motorbike with a missile launcher at the front, it's 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 kind of it's there. Do you know what I mean? But all the other ones, I, I think the purple shirted one's a brilliant figure, but it's not. It's got nothing to determine. At what point has he got in the film? Has he got a claw for an arm? Come on. Exactly. But then I think like same with the Robocop toys as well. All yeah. of it, like it's they have, Demoli think, demolition man. Did a lot of them. I, I would assume, yeah, demolition man. Um, weren't a lot of them like Jurassic Park as well with the Chaos Theory line. Uh, they were trying to push for cartoons to be made. That's why they pumped the figures out first. Well, aliens, the cartoons, certainly, aliens certainly they did, didn't they? Ten aliens, one hundred percent that. Yeah. But one of the things I'm going to just going to share this now. Hopefully, it doesn't crash my computer like last time. Oh, Excel, Excel Gate. Here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. It's all getting, it's all kicking off now. Make sure you close that. Um... <laughs> yeah, so if I share close. this figure here. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah last, last action here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, crap. Yep. Yeah. No one likes it. Not great. I, I don't mind the figure, but as you know, I have a pet hate about stupid accessories. It's like it's like they had yeah. this, this this pot of rubbish missile launchers, backpacks, and weird mitt and guns, and they just uh, randomly assign them without thinking to every figure. E every line has that problem, in my opinion. Yeah, they're just they're just old accessories that they have that they repaint, yeah. reuse, and stuff. Yeah. No, I, no, I don't know. I, do, I like the Jack Slater figures. But I, I agree with you. They, they just went fully ham with what they can give him. And the car, the, so, this last action hero car, which is pretty cool, isn't it? But the two but cars, the, uh, there's a blue car and a baddie guy car. But the uh, but the Terminator car is an atrocity. Yeah. But so that thing, the one very low. You you were pretty mad about it. Yeah. The film was okay. Which which one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it didn't have the same push in, in my world. My, uh, it, it wasn't as popular as, as, let's say, Terminator or the Aliens figures. No, it was made for a young, for a bit of a younger audience, wasn't it? Yeah, Kindergarten Cop in the same. Was, was there kinder, was was there Kindergarten Cop figures? I don't think there was, but in the same kind of year, well, the same era of films being made, he also made another film. Twins. That's why shit. Twins twin figures. Twins figures would be the would be the business, wouldn't they? Neckanita so, or Hot Boys, a nice little Danny DeVito and uh, Arnie set. Dude, I'm so tempted to get the uh, Danny DeVito uh, Necker figure, the big one, as the Joker from Batman Returns. It's such a such a. Nice I share this one now. Yeah. He was the Penguin. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you said the Joker. So, yes. oh, did I? Sorry, 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 sorry. The, the Penguin. Sorry, mate. No, Turbo sure Man. You. I'd love that. All, all of a sudden, it changes. I'm I'm too excited about the uh, Homelander figure in the background, so I won't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Why is it? Why what? Why is the Turbo Man? It's, it's a it's a Christmas film. I get it. I'm afraid, Aaron. But, it falls in. It falls into my pet hate. Not pet hate. My irritation of it's a toy of a toy. But at least it's a made up. At least it's a made up toy. It was made up for the film. So. But I think that's because it's it's not that. For me, anyway, I watched that film as a. I guess a teen, kid, teen. I can't remember the exact, however old or whatever. Like always thinking, like, oh, that'd be a cool, a cool toy to have. And then when I got fully into collecting toys, this is this has been on my list for years, but it's just far too expensive. Yeah, it's just that like ultimate like. You always want that figure that you can't get. And like Arnie had that problem in the film. If that makes sense. It's like there's like a weird connection to that figure. It's got to be up there with if you're talking about old school Arnold Schwarzenegger films. That's like the toy, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's weird, isn't it? Like we we've talked about Terminator figures. Terminator, Terminator Two is one of the, like one of the all time great films. It's amazing. Mm. Get the toys, meh. Like, do you know what I mean? The Last Action I, Hero. I, I, I don't I don't know meh. I don't quite I don't think I agree with you about the Terminator toys. I think I think the Terminator toys are, are sweet, and the reason is is because I had them as a child. Um, but then, but then you show the Turbo Man toy. And it's yeah. like, it's, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 yeah. Like, now yeah. I don't know. Is is that because obviously there's you, you, anywhere like there's gifts and everything of the the classic. Put that cookie down. Yeah. Everyone, that's one one of his famous lines that he used. Do you know what I mean? Not more famous than Hasta la Vista Baby and I'll be back. I don't think, but uh... yeah, but, you, you but I'm just trying to say, why is the Turbo Man figure? It's is it because not? Just because we connect to it, 
It's because what Andy said is because it's because having that figure is not only a figure of the film, but it's the figure he was literally trying to get in the film. Um, you know, it's like owning a piece. It's, it's almost like a cool toy and a prop replica from the film in one, right? Yeah, it's it's an odd one because they didn't do a whole lot in the last film. They just did that, I think. Yeah, smart. It was a smart yeah. move. See, Adam, I'd agree with Adam. Yeah, it's a sweet figure. And I, I'm not too sure. Did they actually make the bad guy and the pink monster as well? I, I, I don't I genuinely so. don't know. I don't think so. I don't. No, I don't believe so. I'm not like hot up on knowledge of it. I've got to be honest. But I don't think they did. I don't think I've ever seen them unless they did, and they're just but yeah, in people's so, collections but, that are like never going to release them. So. Yeah. So it was just a uh, yeah. Sorry, Tommy. Tommy Toothpaste toy's got it. Does that count as a toy of a toy? Yeah, it does. I, I'll let it go take because it easy, at least, uh, uh, take it easy, dude. At least at least the toy was invented for the purpose of the film, and it wasn't repurposing. Goddamn, Mr. Potato Head. Which, which, when I say it like that, sounds rubbish, right? And I know it isn't. Toy Story is a so, worldwide phenomenon. So, uh, sort of a, another toy line I've seen. Uh, Ricey four uh, four two O's put on there. Galaxy Rangers. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have any. I would love some, but to get them complete, I think they look so much better with the hat. Maybe I, I'm not. I wouldn't be too worried about the gun. You, you need them with the cowboy hats. Um, That's what's and Ed's mentioned it before as well, Braystar. If you told me a concept of space cowboys, He's cartoon, cowboy, toy wow. line, and then how about space, um, space, oh, what's Range? the way, barbarian? Yeah. I'll, they're going, well, I, I, want a, I want a space cowboy. That sounds a lot more... I mean, the the, uh, the the 12 year old in me would be going nuts, but if I'm totally honest, the 38 year old in me is still quite excited about the idea of a space cowboy. <laughs> but yeah, like, so what, what, why, why would, why is He Man the popular? I, I'm not saying uh, Brave Star and Galaxy Ranger things aren't expensive, but they're probably more expensive because they're harder to find. He Man. Because the cartoon was popular and they got mass produced. He, he man peppered everything he man pencil cases birthday cakes wallpaper he man was a big big part of like the 80s and everyone remembers he man whereas i would say we would go yeah yeah brave star yeah yeah galaxy rangers but it wasn't in the uh like I, I, i'll tell you right now to be honest with you i only even was aware of galaxy rangers as an adult i didn't i don't remember them from being a child and, and brave star i had a tex hex missing all its parts I didn't even really know what it was from when I had it as a kid. Aaron's bored. Aaron's gone. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just realised that. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> that, and I'm quite glad I realised it. I hadn't turned the uh, the charger on at the wall. I've oh, just that could have that, that been disastrous. Just had a <laughs> saying that like, your battery's running. Like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but yeah like, but, but the, the 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 Brave Star. Um, like the sets, you know, like, the, like the, the the space cowboy wagon and the jail. Is it a jail or is it like a, it's like a command center? It's got a jail in it. That is called Fort something, but that, yeah, that's, that's right. Huge. That's right. They're, they're 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 very very cool toys. I've I've, I've got a Tex Hex on his skull faced flying two legged thing, and I've got a a kind of uh, no not complete uh, handlebar figure because you know it's got a big mustache. I like that sort of thing. I, I've just I've just googled it just to make sure I was right. Uh, I've got the correct info, but He Man came out in '83. Yeah, yeah. Brave Star came out in '87. Now, do you think it's more for the fact that He Man was there at the start? Yeah, but Brave Star was was a toy line first, was it not? So Brave Star, that like, Brave Star, they, they they tried to replicate He Man, make toys, and then make make a cartoon out of it, and maybe people were just a little bit numb to that at that point. I say maybe I, I was there, but uh, I was alive at that point. I, was, I don't. I don't. No, really, Brave Star toys. Brave Star toys released in eighty six. It it didn't it didn't permeate everything like He Man did. It yeah. it didn't get everywhere like He Man did. He Man was everywhere, uh, you know. Yeah, because well, they saw the popularity and just went mental. Didn't they? So it's got to be one of the first franchises to really do that. Like, well, like, it. it, was, it, it Go on, then. Go on. I was, I was gonna, probably we're going to say the same thing. It was, it was, it was the biggest thing really since the Star Wars figures based on merch, and really? they literally made the merch to 
and then we're like, oh, we need to make more, you know, let's keep making figures. How do we do that? You know, do, do a series, whatever. So it was, yeah, and I cannot tell you. I didn't know anyone who didn't have a He-Man figure, even though they were all bust up, broken and missing bits and whatever. We, we all had a, a figure of He-Man. But then is that another reason why it was so popular? Because your mate had a He-Man. Yeah. You had course. a He-Man. Of course. It would do. Did, with, without that logic, why would anyone buy Silly Putty? It's the worst thing ever. But, you know, someone else has got it. Look pretty cool. What is that? All school uh, crazes. As soon as you see yeah. someone with it and someone else has it, like, we need to get this. It oh, we, happens even though with my nieces and nephews. Oh, yeah. Like, We're forever, just... like, oh, this is now the big thing. You're like, oh, okay, cool. So you try and pick it up, like, you know, get them something. They're like, no, I'm not into that anymore. Like, it's been a week. Like, <laughs> We've we, we discussed this before. You know, we are talking about the the, uh, the plastic lollies. D did, did anyone at your school go for a phase of... The big thing was uh, it was just a little bit of rubber that you turned inside out and then sat it down and then watched it and it went and popped. Yes. And, and, and that, that was the toy. <laughs> yeah, we oh, had that. What a, what a time to be alive. But yeah. But there's... um, ah, It's crazy. It's, it's, it's why... What, you could go on for hours well, talking about it, can't you? Can I... Uh, I, I, think, well, I, I think the major, like... What's the word? Common denominator i think or like yes, something yes, like yes. with all the talk like galaxy rangers brave star i guess to a degree food fighters uh, centurions silver hawks tiger tiger shark like they they had great car they had great figures but they the cartoons weren't really picked up particularly in this country so the toys never really made it so you couldn't see your friend that one you couldn't see them on tv you didn't see them in like the toy shop or if you did, you didn't know what they were because you hadn't seen the cartoon. You hadn't seen an advert for it. Yeah. D that David World Toys has uh, let me know that there was actually prototypes made of those other figures in a in um, Jingle All the Way, but they obviously didn't make them to um, uh, to full production. And the Commando figures as well, but they are rubbish. I don't know if you've seen them. Yeah, they look like bootlegs. <laughs> yeah. So the I could have I feel the same about the Rambo figures. Like, uh, I loved my Rambo figure. I loved it. And I still love my Rambo figures. But we didn't have many other Rambo figures. It was like Rambo, and, and that's it. The Forces of Freedom, other guys, they, they weren't all over the place. Yeah. I agree with Paul on that. Yeah. But then yeah. Paul, Paul brings a good point. Everyone knew I what knew I wanted a T2 figure. It was a film we weren't supposed to be watching, too. But that's the same as me where my starship troopers figures why the hell did i have starship yeah. trooper toys for a film that was 18. and and same same for things like demolition man figures they um you know the film wasn't aimed at kids so it was a bit weird to make super super uh, colorful with annoying stupid makes no sense success accessories as they all seem to have but, so would you would you say that one of the main reasons for it is andy's gone on there saying reason why it weren't popular is because the cartoon wasn't popular so mm. it affected that also they were figures basically you have figures of cartoons that only had one season maybe got two seasons yeah lucky or half of the second season mm. weren't popular and then we've got toys that were made for adult films 18 films that never had a cartoon or anything to back it up but are mega popular now because people our age go, that's the best film ever, and then trying to get all the toys for them. Yeah. Well, this is where another thing I was like, little point I made is the remake what's bring what's keeping the figures alive is the reason why turtle like turtles are so popular. Turtles like turtle figures are great. The original OG figures are awesome. He Man figures, Thundercat figures, I, because I, they're all constantly every generation they're almost getting remade. Uh, agreed. I mean, turtles. To a degree, I agree. But like Turtles, Ghostbusters, He-Man, yeah. more so Turtles and Ghostbusters, in my opinion, never went out of fashion. They've always been popular in some way or another, and the toys, they just, yeah. they made so many other lines. But Turtles, they, they're just, they're just a never-ending. Turtles has got to be close to <laughs> Star Wars with, like, overproduced toys. Yeah, I was going to say toys. that. I wonder who actually have the most... Oh, Star Wars, for sure. Figures. Star Wars, for sure. But, but, Turtles, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. they... Dude, Star Wars... Yeah, Star Wars, for, sure. for sure but 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 like turtles is a uh, yeah just a, a billion different toys but um but i don't know man if, if it's if it's re if it's like remakes that keeps it in people's minds i think that might be true maybe you're right perhaps it's true for uh 
for, for certain things, um, but there's some things that have always been popular. Because Kenner aliens have been in, I would say, in the modern time, especially as going to the toy fairs, they were popular. People were like, oh, I had them as a kid. But you could sell a mock one for about 10 to 15 pounds. Yeah, about 10, yeah. 15 pounds for maybe the queen or, do yeah. you know what I mean, like a, a decent Snake one. alien. Snake alien. alien. But then all of a sudden, Neck has come along, remade the Kenner versions. Yeah. And now you can see them for about the, 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 the vintage ones are like about 20 quid now. I think like I just 15 think, to 20 quid. I think a lot of people just want to buy up the old stuff because may, maybe it's a financial thing because they think it might be worth something and maybe because it does jog their memory. Um, I just think toys in general, and we spoke about this before, but toy because of feel, because of because of things like we're doing right now, toys in general are just more spoken about, more desirable, more bought. People are sitting at home, nothing to do, going online, buying toys. Even before that, go to the toy fair, buy back some, uh, buy back some. Well, you, you've done exactly memories. that today with Axel. I'm pretty sure when yeah. uh, Badge Toys logged in tonight, he wasn't thinking. Tonight, I'm going to spend 30 to 40 quid on Axcock figures. Well, that's on him. He should have been thinking that. <laughs> and that's where we come back to peer pressure. Yeah. I've got Axcock figures. I didn't pressure you. I didn't pressure him, man. I, I, I simply showed, I I showed everyone me. how awesome a, a T Rex with miniguns for arms is. Um, Mario, I want to talk to you about Super Mario Brothers, guys. Yep. The, yeah, the I, yeah I've seen your bit. I've seen your bit. Sorry, Dan. I've seen uh, Alan's pictures of them on his Instagram. I, I think I chatted uh, to you about them. Where I was like, I'll give one. a shout out to the guys in the chat first, and then we'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. J- Jason, I, I Wood, you, yeah. Jason Wood Warriors, they they did make. T- okay, okay, you're right. Yeah, they they made them, but I've I don't think I've ever seen one in the flesh. If I'm totally honest, I've seen I haven't seen them in the flesh. I've only seen pictures. Yeah, and they I, look I, said, awesome. I think it was last week or the week before. Holy Grail has like the playset for it, but yeah, it's way out of my my wallet. Yeah, they are very, very, very cool. I don't remember in any process but that, that's that's another reason because it, it's hard to because sometimes Dude, they don't talking, do well in the, if they don't talking, do well in the states yeah they don't tend to come over here but also remember the time man we're talking about there was no internet obviously so in in my in my life we had gamley's the toy shop uh woolworths and that's it so if you were going to go and buy a toy off you know off the shelf so to speak uh that if they didn't have it in those shops so i remember i bought my boglins i bought my military muscle men i bought my beetlejuice figures i bought them from those two shops but if so you might have a brave star figure in there but it might just be brave star and tex hex it might be nothing um and, and if it's not there and no one in your town buys it because it doesn't exist there that's that then <laughs> yeah 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 Then I was like, what you were saying, no internet. What did you have to find what toys were coming up and stuff? Dude, I, I, I used to I used to get a um, by mail. It was a it was a uh, it was a red uh, paper. Anyone remember this in the chat? Um, I know I'm not making this up. It's like a red paper joke uh, joke shop by mail catalog, and you used to buy like uh, like joke toys, you know, like hand buzzers or squirty hey. things or f- fake dog turds and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, like yeah. Avon for toys. Yeah, yeah, but but for like really cheap <laughs> plastic, um, and, and out the and, and I used to remember used to look at the back of like Fangoria and Gorzone and uh, drool over the uh, the uh, full over the head Freddy mask you could get, but I couldn't get them because they're in America and I haven't got forty nine ninety nine. You know what I mean? I'm I'm twelve. Then here, this here, it's got it tells you. I don't know if you can see that. Like KB exclusive. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get it into the camera. No, I'm going to yeah. go that way. Walmart, like that's how you know those figures were Walmart exclusives. There's like, or well, the only other thing you got was the little pullout that came in the back of um, like a box. You got the toy, like the Kenner pullouts, where it showed you all the beast walk. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm just yeah. talking. So, yeah, no, you're right. There's no internet, so you only had what was given in front you, of you. You get what you're TV. given, or, or you get like, I wouldn't have known about Mask if it wasn't for uh, a, a guy that I knew who got everything um, because his. Dad often came back from wherever he, you know with, with toys. So we're like, "Oh man, what's that? That's amazing!" Like, um, you know, you, if, if you you got what you were given <laughs> or what yeah. you were shown. So, yeah. But yeah, I, I wouldn't know about centurions if if 
it wasn't for a, like another i think it was, it was either a family friend or a kid that lived up the road hmm. i can't remember which way around it was but it, like we used to hang around with him uh, he was older than me but he had jake rockwell and i remember just being fascinated by this figure and it was probably years after i discovered what they were and like bought them but yeah i, I don't it's think it's I like, yeah it's like um when you had the centurions all of a sudden it brought back this me i've got a vague memory of someone must have been like a friend of mom and dad's going around there or saying and their kid had but i've just got the memory of um oh the blue guy ace McLeod. Ace, ace, ace McLeod. McLeod. yeah yeah just put it but putting together the one he actually looks like a fighter jet oh yeah yeah putting that together i've, I've got this memory of it like it's, but who I, knows i had the same thing aaron uh last a uh, couple of weeks last week or something on one of the uh the facebook uh, toy groups someone was selling it wasn't complete i think but it was a green it's like a really weird like a green insect that's being that's in it's like modular it's in different parts and it's being ridden by a little green plastic toy and you and, and the head springs off and i used to have that as a, as a child and i uh was like Aah! and it was sold before i saw it obviously because facebook algorithm hates me and they said this has been posted 26 hours ago and it was sold but um I love that when you see someone you, you don't even remember having or, or remembering yeah. until you until you see it. It's cool. Yeah, it's nice. Creature says, "Don't forget Black Star." I've I've got no yeah. recollection of Black Star. Again, something like something I became more aware of as an adult with the Toy Fair people and people that know more about obscure toys than me. And I, which are the ones that you have the flints and stuff in them? Is that Black Star? I think that's Black Star. Um, the Bugsy guys had one that I was really yeah, interested is. in, and I was like, I just don't. Yeah, it's tidy, man. It. They're, they're, they're the, cool. Yeah, the, the flint thing was awesome. I think his mm. eyes lit up, if I remember correctly, when you did the, or, the flint or his, thing. Or his chest or something. But yeah, 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 it was like red, wasn't it? It was very cool. Yeah, very cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. But uh, sorry, we, we totally went off traffic. You were saying about Mario Brothers. Oh, no, man. I'm happy to go wherever. Where, wherever the chat takes us, mate. It was it was more uh, It was more just talking about... Uh, well, let's, let's, let's see what do David's think, saying. Do you think most of these toys... You you're bringing up and down to the UK might not get the toys. Yeah, it could well be that we didn't get the toys in the UK. Yeah, yeah, it could, it okay. could be. Yeah, so I'm just trying to work out. But it's like for argument's sake, like the toy biz figures are just like a dime a dozen out in the states. Like, yeah, they're not expensive. They're everywhere. But well, see, what was crazy to me is in Kingston there used to be a shop called Starlog Press, and it was a massive shop. Uh, and it had uh, that's where I bought my garbage pile kids from and whatnot. We had to go to Kingston, which from here was a bit of a trek being a child. And had, okay, yeah, I suppose as a child is. Yeah, 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 dude. Like you know, it was it was get a get a bus or whatever. Um, and uh, and they had like uh, all the all the originals when Spawn first came out, so it was Spawn Alley and, and all the Spawn toys. But they had an entire wall, and I mean a wall of uh, of Toy Biz, X Men, that sort of thing. So I've still got my random uh that i bought from that from that very shop my loose random and it's got all three missiles imagine that uh so so, uh, so yeah they were quite prevalent over here but if you didn't if they didn't have a shop like that with them in then maybe you didn't see them because a, Ga a gamblers didn't stock them and Woolworths didn't stock them and you know yeah, bt's yeah. didn't stock them so it had to be like almost a specialist toy toy shop you know yeah uh madness madness yeah. so mario brothers right yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just want to know your opinion because the Mario Brothers film was obviously made for kids, but it was kind of a hit, I guess, but not really because it's not really Mario Brothers. But the toys they made, I know Andy loves them because you've basically oh, got a full run now, but the toys are cool. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a sucker for it. I enjoy the I'm, film. I enjoy the figures. But do you think they got enough love at the time? Because I think they're pretty cool figures. No, I mean, I've only been buying them recently because, yeah, I read, really, you know, again, rediscovered them. I definitely didn't have them when I was like a, a teen or whatever hmm. um they're cool they, i mean yeah again i can't get them they're in the cabinet but like some the basic set are cheap hmm. but then there, there are two there's the, the top car and there's like a i want to say like chamber where they i believe they turn the people into the goombas that's right yeah yeah they're very expensive can i like, on that how, note can I, can I just give a shout out to the terminator 2 uh set that's like the um Oh, the biohazard thing. The, yeah. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you put like a skin on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the business. Sorry, mate. Yes, Mario. But you're, no, you're, no, you, you, that you, was you, awesome. I had that, which was bizarre because I don't think I'd even seen Terminator at that point. But I had that. And I was like, cool this is cool. cool. Um, you know, you know, yeah. 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 But you, you've, you've, you've almost got like a full set of the Mario's now, haven't you? 
well, I've got a loose set, and I know I was going to open up Iggy because uh, I bought, yeah, I bought it recently, but then it turned up carded. But I thought for right. the price, it was open carded, and then it's sealed, so I've kept it. Yeah, nice. Um, no, no, yeah, I can't get them, yeah, but I like them. I don't know how. How do you guys feel about them? I, I, you know, I'm a sucker. I'm, in, I'm into a man. I don't. I don't. I think they were pretty cool toys, and I don't think they got a lot of love. But from like, again, what Aaron was saying earlier on, I think it was because maybe the film didn't land quite as hard as they wanted it to. Because to be totally honest, it's not the best film. It's a lot. It's a lot of memories for people like us. But at the time, even it's it's, it's not know, amazing. No, it's, it's not, not the best film. It, yeah. Isn't Necker making Necker oh, are remaking no. Defenders of Earth toys? Yeah. I believe they are, yeah. Again, you well, ev- everything we love from the eighties and early nineties will be remade at some point by by Necker. Um, they're, they're only they're only making three characters, and I saw somewhere the other day that some of the sites that had them for pre order have taken them down. So there's a bit of speculation as to if it's actually going to happen or not. Will somebody please somewhere make uh, Tank Girl figures? <laughs> just just do it. Independence Day toys, yeah. Independence Day toys. I've got, the aliens. I've got the aliens, man. I love, I, I love the, the big aliens, the independent aliens. It's weird though because the, the the aliens and the the ships all look like it, but then they you come to the figures, and the figures are just that standard Trendmaster molds, just made to resemble. It's a bit Men in Black, isn't it? It's uh, it, it's yeah. I have no interest at all in the uh, in the in the human figures, but I think the aliens. Especially like don't think it's behind me, but the big one that you press the button and the head opens and it's got a little dude inside. The proper quality. I'm pretty sure uh, Paul, Paul Toys Scavenger might be able to confirm up, but a lot of those Trendmaster um, Independence Day stuff, like the the the, um, the, the F sixteen, I don't know what the, what it is. The, the the fighter jet they all fly mm. is the same one they use for the Godzilla. Like it was the same molds and basically a lot of it. The same sort of thing, but it makes sense. It makes yeah. sense. I do that. Do you guys? It, do you, did you sorry. say? Sorry, I was going to say. On, I, I want to say it was one of the Facebook groups. It could have been eBay. Someone was selling a set of the Independence Day figures. So had like Will Smith, uh, the president, and Bill. Bill. Uh, Bill. Pat, uh, not, uh, Bill Pullman. The, the guy from Jurassic Park. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, it had those three, and then it had two aliens. And the price was so good, I nearly bought them because I was like, "Sure, done." It'd be kind of cool, but then I was also like, "I don't." There's, 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 there's not enough Jeff. Line somewhere of what random crap I keep buying. There's not, not enough why. Jeff. There, there's not enough Jeff Goldblum figures in the world. That's why I think I want to go next. Like, like focus Just on. Cool. Well, but like, but like, but like people. Like we've had this conversation. Why would they not make a Bill Paxton triple threat three pack? Of uh, Terminator, Aliens, and Predator, <laughs> and you can make like Jeff Goldblum. Oh, come on! There's all sorts of uh, great Goldblum moments, but not enough figures of him. I, mean, I, I guess there's the Fly, but he's already the Fly in that figure in the Movie Maniacs figure. There's a, there's a Jurassic Park one of him. Well, you got uh, Jurassic Park, you got Independence, Day. Independence Day. You can pro- you can get the Marvel Legends of him in as the can, yeah as the uh, the guy yeah, from uh, Ragnarok, like yeah. Grandmaster, yeah. isn't it? Is that what he's called? Yeah, yeah. something like that. Whatever he's called, he's brilliant in any. And you probably got the, uh, you'll get new figures because I think he's going to be in the new Jurassic World film. Mm, yeah, he will be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So he's out there. So I was going to ask you guys and anyone in the chat: Does anyone have any thoughts on Exo Squad? I've seen your figures. I like them. I don't remember them. I don't think I've ever seen them. So the reason I'm saying that is because I think the figures are wicked, but I like mechs. I like people in big machines. And uh, it's not that they didn't get enough love when they came out. I'd simply never heard of it until I was an adult. So I think maybe it just skipped us. I was just wondering if you'd like, I, I know there was, it wasn't just a toy line, I don't believe, but it looks like it was relatively big in America. And it was when like, you know, Robot Chicken did parodies of it. So it was obviously something over there, but I never had any contact with it in, in, in the UK. But uh, I think they're, they're, they're well good figures. <laughs> they're very silly. Yeah, no, as I say, looking at your figures in the flesh, they were cool, and I remember being intrigued by them. They're not my cup of tea, I guess, because I was like, yeah, but they, I, they are very good figures. But it's cool. I, was, I was like mechs, I like power loaders, and and uh, the uh, the, the what's it called, the AP 
APU from uh, Matrix, Matrix. I've got. I even like that. I, I, one day I'll buy the one thing. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the film, but the uh, the thing from Avatar. It's a really cool toy with the guy. Like the end. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. It's basically the same thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, which is cool. Just just a big mech. We like big mechs. Turtles was bombing, but the CGI cartoon that came out boosted back up, and then the OG one shot up. Yeah, but yeah. that kind of goes back to what I said earlier. Do you think the the price rocketed on OG stuff when Super Seven and NECA started remaking Turtle figures? Possibly because all because all of a sudden you had like I, I say quality figures like adult collectibles turtles. Then you've got adult collectible turtles that look like the OG ones. And then you've got people that probably go, oh, no, I want some OG ones. But you, know, you, know, just... people, you know, people are going crazy for now, I think. The ones that they make that look like the film. So mm. not not the cartoon ones, because that's right in our wheelhouse. Like, oh man, like, they look like a dude in a big rubber suit. That's awesome. There's a whole, and I know they made them a while ago, but um, I would say at the time, people were probably more into the cartoon figures the original ones right with bebop yeah. and rocksteady and whatever and yeah they made the they made the, the film ones i'm sure they did well but now the film ones are like the original film they're they're as as uh, desirable as the original cartoon ones i would say they, they made a set of the turtles on the floor with the guitars yeah i, like, I wouldn't mind that set. I, I would love that 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 mixes yeah. gem and the holograms and turtles which i'm on board with that's that's a <laughs> moment that's brilliant but I think, yeah, a lot of it. Because one of the things I, I was going to bring up is, again, it, uh, 90s toys. So you've got Power Rangers, which has been popular. But Power, been Rangers popular. Is, Power, Power Rangers sold well, mate. I don't know where you're going with it. <laughs> but but because it was constantly remade and constantly in, in the domain, it's always been popular. Yeah. Street Sharks popular kind of lives off the kind of whole hey do you remember vin diesel was in a street sharks ever street, street sharks also falls into that what the hell they're weird looking they're like sharks that are and, and they're nice chunky toys like as things power rangers was just this global phenomenon which is you know people people loved it where street sharks was just popular i guess why why for mars uh, well we know my feelings on it if you said if you said um here's a turtle-esque like animal figures who ride motorbikes you know sons of anarchy do you know what i mean like now you're, you're selling thinking, it to me never looked yeah, like a nice one as the sons of anarchy biker gang and now i'm like i might get some Co yeah. Colin, Colin sent me some photos. He's bought some uh, like carded yeah. biker mice. And I tell you what, they look mu much nicer on. You know what? I think I think I am too used to seeing them just janky at the bottom of car boot boxes or at toy fit. Like I, I don't, I don't visualize them in their prime. I don't visualize them complete. I, I, I didn't really like the cartoon. It was m m moderately after my, you know, my my. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I was too old for it. Do you know what I mean? Or or but wasn't interested. Street Sharks never got a remake. Michael Myers Mars did get a remake in the early noughties and it bombed. Yeah. There isn't one weird. there's not one biker mice toy that is as cool. Like the coolest biker mice toy, in my opinion, isn't as cool as like the worst Street Shark toy. I, they're, they're just they're just interesting looking and they're and they're fun and they're then they're different and they're weird and they're odd the bike i'm not even saying the bike and mice toys aren't cool i'm just saying that they're just they're just mice with like motorbikes aren't they that's me yeah, summing up like a mice from mars <laughs> just mice yeah uh, yeah yeah i don't don't i don't want to like like yeah each right. Right. Shark, like, sharks are cooler than mice a hundred times the, the toys just they're just more interesting in the same oh, way yeah. that, like I said, the James Bond Junior toys. I've got no interest in James Bond Junior toys, but but the bad guy, you know, with like the, the Jaws, the, the young younger Jaws figure. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'd have that figure. I like these things. Just interest me. They're just interesting looking toys, you know. I enjoy collecting toys from the enjoyment of watching '80s cartoons on, on wards. wards. Is that as in hospital yeah. wards? Yeah. My mum, my mum worked in a hospital. 
80s cartoons onwards. onwards. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I've read it as onwards. I, I read it as onwards as well. But if, if it's 80s cartoon onwards, absolutely. Because I, I, I keep... remember... Sorry, Aaron. I remember um, my mum worked on in the children's ward of our local hospital. And every now and again, going up there, used to sit in, like, going to their big, like, play area. Mm. And they had in there, they had a Dreamcast, they had a Scorponok. Mm. And they had loads of, like, cool toys and everything. Yeah, it got... It got one day they they came in. This was obviously like middle nineties. Uh, they came in one day to find the whole child's toy area just robbed of everything. Of course, pretty uh, crummy. That's how I started. That's but, how I started um, my, uh, my my toy selling business. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's where your school from. came from. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. So I don't know. That's kind of a segue onto that, which kind of well, as, as I've as I've been trying to tell everyone that will listen, and these guys are going to roll their eyes. We are living in the golden age of cartoons, guys. And we will look back at this period of... Yeah, I know. But everyone goes, oh, 80s, 80s cartoons, weren't they great? Yeah, they were right. Sorry, I just mute him, guys, and get him out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Son of a... I literally saw that. I'm going to host mute your mic. <laughs> Forget about it. Forget... Forget about it. Forget I mentioned it. People say, like, 80, 80s cartoons are amazing or whatever. And I'd agree. But I've always been like, oh, 80s toys, 80s toys are amazing. But as I'm getting more into collecting toys, like going further into it, uh, 90s, 90s toys are pretty badass. They're more, they're more colourful. But what I'm saying to you is... Not about colourful. No, I'm not talking is, cartoons. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean toys. They're more colourful. They're like, you know, like the Playmates. But what I'm saying to you guys is, as good as the 80s cartoons were, and some of them are amazing and some of them hold up, 90s cartoons were probably better in, for the stuff that I like, the Earthworm Jim, the Spun... Uh, the, 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 the the Ren and Stimpy, the Spunko stuff, the Acme stuff. Yeah. But the 2000 cartoons is made by people that grew up watching the stuff that I loved. So the regular show, yeah, The Adventure yeah. Time, the, the, no, I, I love it. And Adult Swim stuff, Metalocalypse, uh, Venture Brothers, um, you know, uh, Super Jail, Squidbillies, the thing that I love no one else does. Like, it's... Uh, it, we, honestly, we'll look back in 20 years and probably they'll be even better then because, because they'll be... You know, um, Simpsons, Simpsons used to get all these plaudits of being like, it's brilliant because it's it's for kids and adults. They slip in like jokes here and there. And they were they were the first people to do it. But all cartoons on Cartoon Network do that now. All of them. You can watch them as an adult yeah. or a child. Anyway, whatever. Mute away, Aaron. <laughs> Mute away. <laughs> You're not my friend anymore. <laughs> but, but, uh, don't, don't, be silly, don't be silly. We've never been friends. <laughs> <laughs> Acquaintances. <laughs> um, but do you think though that at Thundercats Raw, the fact that he got so much backlash, kind of I thought it was fueled, brilliant. I thought it was fueled the love more for the original cartoon, which kept who, it alive. Who gave it backlash? The world. Yeah. online ah, keyboard it's, warriors. It's not exactly the same. It's not exactly the same as the thing that I like. It's not exactly the same as the original. It's stupid and it's for kids and what it's like. Yeah, it's a different thing. It's cool. It's a different thing. It's a different no. cartoon. All I'm saying is, is do you think that someone was like, oh, that's not what I had as I grew up, hmm. and then went back and rewatched what they? It, it kept the older cartoon alive for a lot of people. Surely, having just the name Thundercats on tv means that people would either go oh yeah, yeah, yeah i remember that or people that enjoyed thundercats raw might go online there were no thunder thundercats raw um figures toys merchandise like that so you go online you go oh and then you get past that terrible series they did and what, what was that the, the smaller ones they did horrible oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, redo. It's, yeah, not, yeah. It's, it's not that bad okay completely completely uh forgot about that but another again another See a uh, show that got a a reboot, yeah. and technically not so long ago. Well, Thundercats. It? The, the the one you would not the Ho, not the not the no Thundercats Raw. Sorry, mm -hmm. the other, the other yeah, one is like mid to late. Yeah, oh, two thousand fifteen. Yeah, it was it was yeah, like yeah, maybe ten. ten ago, was it? It wasn't that long ago. They, they redid the they redid the Thunder Tank and the figures and whatever. Yeah. But like, Aaron, on on your point, just keeping it in the. In, in the public sphere, a hundred percent people will have gone back and watched the original. Hundred percent. Yeah. Don't know about Jurassic Park. I didn't know about Jurassic Park season two until I went to a shop that imported. There you go. 
and that's what I mean. Yeah. That's what we. That's what we had. We had toy shops, right? Or sorry, shops that sold you know toys. But but yeah. then yeah, we did get for the toy line did get popular. We always got the last releases because they sort of it was like a right. It's dying in America. We got all these toys that we were going to bring out for it. What do we do? It goes to the UK. It's still popular in the UK. It's still popular in Europe because they they're like a year or two behind. They're still <laughs> listening yeah. to videotape. Yeah, yeah, you know, right? <laughs> they're still digging on the Metallica Black album. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Have you said anger? <laughs> yeah. I know, right? It's like, I can't believe I only this, I can't believe it only came out yesterday. <laughs> I can't believe Bob Rock made a snare drum out of a biscuit tin. Let's not talk about that record. <laughs> Terrible. I'm a Supernaturals guy, I have to admit. Uh, I like both Visionaries and Supernaturals with regards to toys. I think they, they, they the hologram scream of uh, of the 1980s, and, and I love that. The one thing the one thing I do think about Visionaries that I think probably would have let them down is the fact, looking at them now, they would break so easily if you were given them to a kid to play with. Well, the, the Visionaries? Yeah. Um, they're mate, they're 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 prop, they're as sturdy, if not sturdier, because they're slightly bigger than GI Joe figures. I don't know. They just every every ones that I've picked up seem to like, unless they're in good condition. Mm. I've well, got, probably got the worst. But, you know, but they're still they're still just joints. yeah, maybe, maybe the top joints. They're still just banded around the groin. I mean, I, I would say anything like that would end up getting a lot of paint rub because they've got helmets, same as the um like the, the, like any Centurions. Anything you're yeah. popping saying on and off the top always gets paint rub. They, I mean, Visionaries had a great intro. Mm. It had a, like a bit of rock, like magical mist. It, yeah, the intro is awesome. For some, did, for some reason, I have... hate the the vehicle from Visionaries. You know, what I'm talking about the thing that looks like a like a wedge of cheese, like sky claw or something. I never never liked the look of that. Visionaries was the one that had like weird. They had yeah, they had like a spaceship, like a triangle, but they had mm. dragons to ride as well, didn't they? Yes, they were. They were, yeah. uh, we're trying, dragons were in Supernaturals as well, weren't they? Is this, I, I think it's supernaturals. No, yeah, I think you're I think you're thinking supernaturals. Mate, if it doesn't make any sense, if it's annoying and makes no sense, it's probably supernaturals. Let's have dragons. I think I'm with Aaron. I think toy wise though, I think I'm agree with Aaron. I think I prefer the supernatural toys to the visionary toys. And I, I'm a minifigure guy. I like smaller figures, but for some reason I prefer Yeah. I prefer the skulks. I mean I, I get there's inconsistencies like why well, have a gun when I've got a mace or why well, have a whatever. dragon when I've got when I've got a monster truck. But that's part of the charm, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Is, is it? I don't know. I mean, I've got them all. I like the ghostlings. That's what I like from Supernatural is the little ghostlings. I have a set of Mara figures loose in complete. Every time I see a cheap carded one, it goes too quick. Yeah. Well, it's um, handy. Because he doesn't know. <laughs> well, I, that, was on, that was on a Facebook group, which I, I imagine Brad is part of, actually. I'm sure he, he must be. I think it was Ghost Booters. Hmm. Um. <laughs> there you go. Pick up the tank girl. Pick up the tank girl. Yeah, massive. Uh, they they yeah. never made short circuit toys, but someone recently has been doing 3D printed Johnny Fives and they're banging. Yeah. Probably that, someone that, like Neck has something in like that. That. Exactly. Yeah, I'm super the, 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 the toy license or the license for it must be like held. Because even like a, even Hot Toys or Sideshow, it, uh, Gentle Giants, someone making a bust, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you could easily do two or three of them. You could do the plain Johnny Five. You yep. could do the Johnny Five when he gets like graffitied up and the stuff the, like the that. Pu the pumped up one, yeah, yeah. 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 Or you could do just one with like his umbrella. Yeah. There's not, even, there's not even any fun codes of them of Johnny Five, is there? No. So that light must be buried somewhere, like yeah, it was, untouchable. The the person that I saw online on one of our groups that did that has done the 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 three D printed figures. He's also done a set of the batteries not included drones and i'm like okay that's oh, yes. okay that's cool yeah he's they're, they're utterly amazing he's um i'm not even giving i can't even give him credit because i don't know i don't know who it was now but yeah he made 3d printed um batteries not included robots and they were very very cool i didn't see those I, yeah the short circuit i saw that was amazing. Same, if, if, same guy as, as made right, them. Okay, okay. they're very very cool very cool i've been trying to look at usual mike's comment here saying good for ages like is it good stream what but i've realized Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. He's in Australia. So if you're still with us, Mike, yeah. good morning. Or good day, if I want to be stereotypically racist towards Australians, because that's all Australians say. Good day. No? No. I'm just not getting involved. 
and, and he spent some time out in Australia. And, and he has issues. Whereabouts are you? I was in Perth for about two years. Yeah. All right. Oh, I remember them. Remember those really cool. Head- That's what we got uh, killed in the chat. We don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Toys are cool. We all love toys. Oh, it must be Exo Squad. And a bunch of extras. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm just kind of getting into now. It's more than I thought there was. They're very cool, very cool. The cartoon, okay. But if that's Exo Squad, yeah, I've, I've not, I've not seen it. But uh, I like the figures. Starship, Starship Troopers, Starship. yeah. Again, Necker. come on. Uh, yeah, yeah Necker. again, just action fleet, pretty cool. Micro machines, not that great. The Kenner, is it Kenner that made them? The figures, the uh, lube your basic whatevers um the funko pops are actually all right because we need someone like necker or state of the art or someone or mcfarlane to make proper yeah, cool cool super seven someone... like full of articulation like a bit so, sturdier uh, someone, than necker. someone so. came out with the um there's a couple of animes that came out recently is it higher or who's the guy who makes the little predators and who are making yeah, the high, high, higher toys yeah yeah i think they've made but it's based on the um, uh, it's based on the animes that they've done. That that'd be cool, and it's a cool scale. But they're kind of pricey, and they're not that available over yeah. here. But, but they've actually made cool. kind of like a it's probably about like big an arachnid warrior. Nice hundreds. Like yeah. If I yeah. get that, if I get that, Aaron, you can have all my action fleet stars ship troopers. <laughs> Genuinely, well, I've got hundred pounds. You've well, got no, the one thing that I really want, and it's the drop ship. Just get. I got like, dude. I've got that. I got that boxed. I got it boxed for thirty quid. Thing is, though, it's like every time it. Yeah, I, I keep scouring the uh, the evil mm. bay for Starship Troopers, but some of the prices are a bit. I think, so, I think someone saw that someone put rare, and that obviously means it's expensive. Obviously, oh, on eBay next to it, and they're putting like you know single packs like fifty nine ninety nine ultra rare, and it's not. We see them all the time at toy fairs. So I'd hold your hold your horses until toy fairs get back online, and we'll we'll find find that sort of stuff. All right. Yeah. All right. Mister Dave I think the prices come down to sh- to show on your YouTube shows, TV shows, YouTube's Facebook, eBay, and Elk. Yeah, so the prices come down to TV shows, YouTube, Facebook, because yeah, because there is uh, a COVID tax. Everything. There is a COVID tax. And yeah, there are some stuff. crazy prices. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, everything. But, but you, you yeah. can get even on eBay. Everything been, except tax cop. Yeah, <laughs> no, but like even on eBay, I've, I mean, I've been maybe a bit more cheeky on eBay in terms of messaging the people and being like, "Would you do it for this?" or in the picture, I noticed something's not right. Would you do it for the, you know, like, mm. whereas before I'd never do that because I'd have a toy fair, I'd have a booth fair where I could go and see stuff. Yeah. Mm. But at the minute, I'm like, well, I might as well just take my chances and see what happens. And I'm surprised some people do actually, like the mad bulls I got, I, as I say, I didn't pay what they wanted. Um, when I was collecting the Bucky O'Hare stuff, people were doing that a lot cheaper than what they actually listed. Mm. Uh, the Kiss figures, although as rightly pointed out, it's one that with the group, which so annoyed. I mean, he does because he is in the picture, but he doesn't have the eye. But um, twenty, you know, twenty definitely. pound, twenty pound plus three pound PMP, mate. Get on it after this. No, nah, and to be fair, if anyone has the one with the eye and they want that one, I'll swap it, trade it, no problem. Um, you know, they they were listed at forty quid, and in a day of me watching it, I got thirty quid. So, mm. uh, although things are high, you can still get a deal. I think mean, David's right that the price, you know. But inevitably, prices come down to what someone's willing to pay for it, and it's either yeah. whether whether or not someone wants it that badly for their collection, axe cop, or uh, whether or not <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, that was t- more than the kiss figures. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or whether or not someone <laughs> someone thinks that it has a it's a worthy investment because you know prices um, you know might go up, and, and if they're looking to flip it, some which is fine at some point in the future. But some of the figures, I, some of the uh, prices I see on figures now, I just. It, it irritates me because it's like they're just not worth that. They're not worth it. But people think they can get away with it because, it, like you say, David p- points out, there's no, there's no qualifying it because I can't go to a toy fair and be like, hang on a minute, that seventy pound figure, I could get it for fifteen quid off this guy. All you've got yeah. is eBay and Facebook groups and marketplace, and that's all you've got. But I think as well, like because of what's going on and people not going around people's houses, people aren't selling. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 
Yeah. So, 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 so do everyone a favour and buy off sellers, buy off yeah. nerd base and monkeys emporium and 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 people. I say, ah, oh, it's not me. Vintage Toy Monster. Vintage Monster. Less yeah. to like shops, but also sellers. Robo Toys and and um, and and Tats and Toys and Empire well, Toys. Toy and Toys models. Right? And toy Planet. You kept like keep keep the people that that churn it through alive because then you'll get better prices because they can keep going. Whereas someone who is doing it purely to make money on eBay, you're always going to pay top end. They do need Thank to you. do never ending story figures. Hell yeah. Thing is though, what a trade. A they did what, okay, so Ken from Back to the Toys, uh, I found these out from his, if someone got really bad, is it me? Can you hear like, know. echoing? I think it's stopped oh, it's now. Stopped, it's stopped, it seems it stopped. Um, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Ken from Back to the Toys or Creative Banff, uh, one of them, uh, has, there's PVT figures from Never Ending Story. They're not it's actually like, articulated. It's probably Creative Banff because I thought they were only in America or you know, abroad. So. I can't remember. I, I, for some reason, I'm thinking Ken, but um, maybe. Yeah, but th they do have them. They are crazy expensive. Yeah, but as I say, they're not technically, I guess, articulated figures, but they're just little PVC figures. What, are they? Pre they might be ceramic. They go so well with your, your, they go, they go right, well right, with right. your uh, with your uh, Willow figures. My first ever yeah, crush. Me. I've told you before. Childlike princess. My first ever crush that I can remember as as a young child. I mean, I'm over it now. I'm an adult, but. Jimmy, I just want to say, really, dude, you did not have to do that as much What's as that? it is very much appreciated. It's hugely appreciated. Now, Andy, only £15 plus £3 post and package to get that Peter Chris that you need. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll send it to Andy so he can get his uh, complete Chris. line. Because I'm pretty sure... Clothes off now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that only for your only fans. All right. <laughs> Jimmy, thank you so much. There was, uh, that was unexpected. Thank you. I'll just pop in a quick in quick little one oh, i hope your little one gets better oh, yeah i'll send you this your ways love the chats forget toy division for laugh we'll catch up we'll cap toy d for l we'll catch up with uh next week jimmy about the uh the travesty of the royal rumble I was gonna, we haven't even talked about the rumble yet i want to talk about it women's rumble men's rumble we'll talk about it another time we're talking toys okay, this week. okay, okay. talking to us but me, we'll, me, we'll catch up with jimmy about it because i know he feels the same way that i do <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I bully myself, mate, by backing myself into corners that I don't. I don't know what I'm talking about. What do you mean, bully? Who's bullying who? Doctor Roxo, the rock and roll clown. If that's what you're talking about, then me and oh your friends, God. me and your friends for life. It's one of the best, the best cartoon creation. You guys won't know because you refuse to watch modern <laughs> cartoons. <laughs> Doc, Doctor Roxo, the rock and roll clown, is uh, from Metalocalypse. Um, yeah, he's the don't best. Mute. Mute him. Don't mute him. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't put baby in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dr. Raxo, the rock and roll clown. Yeah. I won't say the rest of it, but yeah, amazing. Dream 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 Dream. Yeah, another one. Often Born often from... often mistaken for uh for street shots. Street shots, yeah. Well technically that's see that's the technically they yes, were you did it. in street shots. Technically. Where, 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 where. <laughs> so you got to do whenever you, whenever you remember, like, well, want to remind you that they yeah. are actually street. Um, well, the toy line technically aren't street shots because they came up for extreme dinosaurs. Buckle <laughs> up, guys! I've got something to say about extreme dinosaurs. Extreme dinosaurs are cool. They're cool. They got they they got no love because I think everyone thought they were uh, <laughs> they were street shots. Well, the are. thing is about them though is that on their own they look kind of naff. But I think there's a, there's a lot of accessories that go on them. And then when you actually have ones with all their accessories and they're built up, they're kind yeah, of... They, 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 are pretty, they are pretty badass. That, 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 um, that street shot that you got, Aaron, I didn't realise it had like a, the one that... Uh, was it Ryhart very kindly uh, sent yeah. you? It's got like a full-on jaw accessory and like a backpack and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's like a hockey player. So he's yeah. Like a hockey that, that was sweet. Really cool. Really cool. Yeah, if, if Ryhart, do watch this back, mate. Um, I know you sent us a message saying you're working tonight. So shout out he's, to you, buddy. He's promised he's going to watch it back. So if you don't watch at least one hour and 44 minutes and eight seconds of it, right, Hart, I'm going to know. I'm going to know yeah. because you're not <laughs> You do not have to watch this far, by the way. <laughs> Me and my love. Thunder, 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 catch, bro. 
Do you, yeah. I mean, do you ever notice that? Like, just keeps going up and up and up in everyone's expectations. I mean, is the he's an absolute chap, and I love him to bits. And he's actually sending me a. Uh, I won't say what it is because I'll present it, but it's actually for Hannah, and he's. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate nudes. it. <laughs> he could send nudes with it. <laughs> I'm sure if it's imagine he's got imagine he's got a full body uh, Dune sandworm tied on him. I'd be like, well, we're getting married, and that's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> but the sandworm's the scale. So yeah, right. full, full my man, man. <laughs> my man, <laughs> my man. <laughs> Whoa, that's a good time. He man, he man, two hundred X man. I'm tired. Oh, it's up there. The buzz off figure from He man, two hundred X is awesome. The King His They're figure, cool there is as well. Really cool figures. The figures are cool, but I've never seen the cartoon. Never seen. It was a cartoon, right? Or was it just spoiler? Yeah, there was a cartoon. I think. Yeah, I've, I've only really seen them at boot fairs. That's the Castle Grayskull from He Man. It's 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 a proper bit of kit. That is, it's a uh, really cool, really cool. They're cool figures. The, um, Netflix are dropping a, a carry on to the old He Man soon, aren't they? Has that got something to do with Kevin Smith? Or I just Probably. made that up. I might just made that Probably. up. But they, no, I think he is involved. Done. It's new new episodes, like a new series, but mm. it carries on from when the. 80s He Man finished. Okay, so that sounds. <laughs> Did any of you guys ever watch Zorn? Sorry, Son of Zorn. That was no. I, I've got the I've got the figures of Son of Zorn. It was a very, it's a it's a He Man esque. It, it just reminded me of that you yeah, said it carried on. Barbarian dude, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, but it just like, it reminded me of it's He Man nowadays. Like, Arr! but uh, yeah, if anyone watched Son of Zorn, big up yourselves. It was a cool one. It, it got cancelled after one series. And I thought it was very unfair. It was excellent. Is that the one that? Um, Super Seven remake made the figures that were never made from it. From Son of Zorn, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, they're just, they're just they made Office Zorn. I've got them there, Office Zorn and, and Warrior Zorn, and I've also got the Funko Pop because that's I really enjoyed the. It was it's, he was a cartoon, and everyone else was live action, but it's it's very right. He Manny. It was it's very it was a really good series, and it got uh, binned off after one series, which sucked. Well, I think Ben, you aren't your um. You answer this in your next comment. So I agree with Paul. Visionaries weren't as popular as it should have been. No dragons in Visionary. They, they, they you got to answer your question. Just add dragons or, dragon. or monster trucks, and you're a winner. <laughs> like magical knights. Magic. Oh man, I'm trying to make this. That's now. why supernatural better. It's got dragons with holograms. Yeah, yeah. Supernatural's got holograms. I know the side of centurions. I'll shut up. Creepy, creepy crawlers. Creepy crawlers. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to Google that. Yeah, Andy, keep talking while me and Aaron Google. Uh, I hate being put on the spot. Uh, <laughs> 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 so they're called army ants, but for some reason this one looks like a pirate. So if anyone know why? Let me know. Creepy crawlers look cool. Yeah. What is creepy crawlers? The things you throw at the windows and they drop down. No, but you remember them? Oh. They're very awesome. Professor, yeah. Professor Gungan Grime. Gungan Grime. Gungan Grime. Creepy crawlers figure. As that member is so I, solid. Yeah, <laughs> got twenty-one seconds to go. I uh, I have never heard of they this are. before. I'll have to do some. I'll have to do some research into that before I can make. Oh, it. I remember, oh man, I remember that advert on TV. You got the little oven to make like, gummy creepy crawlies. Oh, okay. And you basically made your own sweets. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That is awesome. Right, let's get let's get down the comments so we can uh, finish with a flourish. Greco Fabulous have some sort of bootleg Johnny Five. Really? Yeah. Nice. If they did a one six scale, like you say a Hot Toys scale, that would be that would be excellent. I, I, even though I could be tempted to buy one of those, and I'm not really fond <laughs> of big figures. What, but... what you got to do is that you buy the, the one sixth. Um, Sideshow, uh, Johnny Five, and then buy a soundboard for like a cosplay of it, just so mm. you can sit there and just be like, "Your mother was a snowblower." Your mother was a snowblower. <laughs> Take, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I was, I, I was actually looking at, um, I was actually looking at buying some carded Attack of the Killer Tomatoes figures only last week, um, and I don't know why I'm telling you because I might still do that. So. Uh, do it when, just... when we were in when we were in America. The guy that had the um, 
Oh, I, yeah, he, he had the hotspot and stuff. He's the, the one that I end up spending most of my money. Yeah, with. yeah, yeah. He, a, he yeah. had he had some carded killer tomatoes. It was a toss up between buying them or buying the carded Bionic Six figure because they they worked out roughly the same price. And I was like, oh, I, I really thought about the killer tomatoes just because they're weird. I, I feel like but now I, I ended up going Bionic Six. That's cool. I, 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 I feel like that, that might be my next thing: Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. And they, they the, were awesome. Yeah, it's a cool film. It's very silly, but the the uh, the, the the figures are they're not well made. They're just excellent. No, it was very Marvel desk. Very Marvel desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down with that. Pay Arts made the Starship Trooper figures for the anime. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Where did I get my T-shirt from? Thanks for asking, David. Is <laughs> yeah, as you asked. Red, uh, Red Bubble. Red... <laughs> If you're in the uh, Toy Division Facebook page, we have Aaron here sporting the yeah. black T-shirt with the classic Toy Division logo on. Dan is sporting the uh, Toy Division thong. Uh, I'll just show you. Where the... <laughs> <laughs> you can print it on anything, mate. You can print it on anything. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, get, if you're not already on the Toy Division Facebook group, join it. Search Toy Division. <laughs> get yourself a T-shirt. Get yourself a t-shirt yeah all proceeds go to uh peter chris for andy charity dot com <laughs> just one t-shirt will help andy buy <laughs> the kiss figure to complete his line that he didn't know needed completing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an hour ago yeah one figure will help andy for now but one figure a month will keep him satisfied for years so donate now <laughs> You could sponsor a child. Jimmy, Jimmy knows. I can see Paul's not happy with my comment, but Jimmy knows. Yeah. He knows exactly how I feel. The best clown, the rock and roll clown. <laughs> what about gaming figures? Probably Torque, Tomb Raider figures. Yeah, the Primal Rage ones look really cool. I always count Resident Evil figures. I think I think Resident Evil figures are one of the most successful of the games figures because they just made loads of them but for me it's i'm just not into games i don't know i know tomb raider i think i've heard i think i've played torrent maybe on the n64 but yeah I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even know they did figures but I, I do i do also really like the uh is it state of the art or necker i think it's state of the art that did um the um uh street fighter figures they're really nice uh and there's more combat figures street fighter figures yeah more more combat figures have been been redone recently Mm, yeah, I saw yeah. like Raiden and Sub Zero and stuff. Yeah, the Cap Capot is it? No, not Capon. Capon versus Marvel. You, you could get Street Fighter figures versus an X Men. Okay, they were pretty cool. There was a set. There's sets of those. Mm. Isn't yeah? Is is, it, is only McFarlane? Oh, I can't even speak. McFarlane doing the the Mortal Kombat figures. Uh, possibly. New ones. New ones I think they're doing new ones. Out. Yeah. I tell you, one of my oh, favorite fig, fa favorite gaming figure, like the Gears of War figures, are cool. Someone did an awesome Duke Nukem figure. That might have been McFarlane. I can't you, remember. You, you tend to find though that, um, again, gaming figures are probably the same as like movies made for adults. Mm. The toys aren't toys. Like, well, can, can I just say that that entire shelf is a uh, Bioshock figures, and they are. I don't know if you can all those. Apart from that, that's Evil Dead Ash. They were Bioshock figures, and they are definitely, I mean, yeah, they're not made for kids, A, because of what they yeah. look like, but B, because how much they cost. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I've got a lot of Halo figures down here, and yeah, they're not, same. they're poseable, they're all right, but they're not child playable, kind of. It's only recently that, it's only the um, toys that, have, the Halo figures that they're just bringing out now yeah, are sort of it child playable and do, that's because obviously they're promoting the new game now but do, do you uh do you reckon any of the like, NECA figures over the last sort of five six seven or eight years are for kids not just because of what they are but how much they cost if it's like a 40 if 35 40 pound figure they're not for playing with come on they're, 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 they're collectibles they're not toys that's who what, makes toys like, these days well, yeah well you go down the toy aisle and then there's not a Toy, the, the toys that seem to be popular are the toys for games mm. like Fortnite, like uh, Ro DC Ro Robots. Yeah, D DC toys, as in like the kind of uh, the DC action figures. 
Imagine X. Uh, imagine X. Yeah, Imagine X. Yeah. The 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 action figure for a young kid. I think a lot of and probably my people in the um chat might agree. They're probably using action figures from like the nineties and the eighties and the maybe the as the toys for their kids to play. I, I can't. When, when you go into a shop now, I can, can't see an action figure for a kid. Well, the, apart yeah, I was from say uh, that. Tesco's, Tesco's uh, near me he has no action figures. It's apart Bunko. from wrestling figures, not, wrestling not figures. even not even wrestling figures in my life. But what, but what I mean is, if, if you go to like the entertainer, as far as like action figures that kids play with, you've got wrestling figures. But the rest of it, I don't know, man. Uh, maybe that's one of the reasons why people are going back to old school figures because there aren't really playable figures as much as there used to be. I don't have kids, so. Uh, like, uh, okay, these, these are only not nine quid, so yeah, you can you will as, give that to a kid. As, as Aaron slapping uh, slapping the uh, the chat in the face there after someone spent 25 quid, only nine quid, mate. You could have bought three of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it in that way, <laughs> but a young kid isn't going to want to play with that if you showed him what the vintage collection Bob Effect looks like, which is all articulated and everything, well, but Black Series figures that they're fully playable but who would maybe maybe people do i don't know i don't know but how how much is the vintage collection one like 20 quid 15 16 quid maybe even more but today that's not that bad to like people would buy that and give it to a kid yeah because of today's money like but would you but you wouldn't buy a 35 pound necker freddy krueger figure and give it to a kid Right. No. You wouldn't. I don't think you'll buy a twenty pound, twenty three t- black series figure for a kid. Well, why would you? When oh, twenty pound buys, buy, buys you, you an Axe Cop on a T Rex, you wouldn't need to spend twenty pound on anything yeah. other than that, surely. And I, I think that I think the twenty quid black series figures would get bought for kids because they are in toy shops. Like, I think I think so too, and I think because Star Wars is such a, a pull, I think people would buy them for their kids. I want to find out. Not, Anyone's kid? How many to find out? Like, not me, mate. All my kids get is one of them popper things you turn inside out and watch it pop up in the air. That's what they get. That's what I had, and that's what they'll get. My my kids will be working straight away. <laughs> up them chimneys. Earn a living. Yeah. You know, right? There's some big houses around here. they got got a few <laughs> chimneys. <laughs> They're only little. They can get right up that chimney, sir. Don't you no, worry right? about it. I'll have them making my trainers. Don't you worry about that. Putting them together. <laughs> You know, my own. you know, you were mentioning about that pop, the popper thing. Hmm. I t- I got, I still need to open it and go through it properly. But a, a box of snailians turned up. Yeah. But then it, everything happened with yeah my dad and stuff. So I haven't. I, I've actually. I can't. I think I've not forgot I had it, but it just not been on my mind. But they had projectiles that have that sort of popper motion. So you fold you fold in this bit of plastic. You put this like ball in into it. And oh, and it, pop, yeah. It's cool. But, oh yeah, well, I'll have to get them out actually after this. Are you going to do a YouTube video on them? You should. Yeah, well, it's going to take me a while to figure it out. But I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but when you do, I'll be interested to see that. That'd be cool. I, I remember we. It was like literally this same sort of thing, the popper thing, hmm. and it was literally like only a, probably about like that big, and you pushed obviously pushed it down and it flied up. Yeah, I remember yeah, a kid yeah. at school doing one, and he put it down and it didn't go off for ages. And he did the classic thing of he looked over it while it wasn't going to probably hit him in the eye and he was crying and everyone was like, uh, cool. if, any, if, if anyone's got a, uh, back in the, back in the day when I was a kid, pre-disco, uh, the thing, the thing to have was like a, uh, it's like a, a child suitcase and in it was almost like a spy kit with a gun that you had a silencer for and like, like a plastic knife and, it was just it was just like a, almost like a not, not a spike almost like an assassin's kit but all plastic in that i'm looking for one of them that just reminded me of that so uh paul the rumble it was fine okay. that's right the start and the end that's the, the male one the female one a little bit weird that it got hijacked by the men in the middle that was a little bit odd but it, they, they pulled it off i think but the yeah start, no, I, yeah it, i like the r truth segment that made me it, laugh it would have annoyed me had had it not gone how it did with regards to uh actually kind of been about the females do you know what i mean it was but yeah. i i just i hate i hate the fact i don't I'm not don't want any spoilers because uh, someone might know what i hate the fact of who won the male one and i hate the fact of the position that they came in i think it it devalues everything that, that the royal rumble yes is. i think it, it makes it really 
unfair for the people that are there day in day out. I think I, it, so the, the, yeah. the, the, ne the next time someone goes, oh, and he's he he came in at position five and made it. I'll go. Who cares? They they put a geriatric in. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> I don't know. It's, I think it's. I think it's. I think it's because I don't particularly like Edge. I have a problem, and I'm, I'm not a huge Randy Orton fan. Either. I think also. I think they're probably blinded by the fact that because he had such a big pop when he came back last year. That that was well deserved. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. That was great. It, that, it was. That, a, it was, was a proper was, moment. Great. Yeah. But but did but we really was, need the the, ne the yeah. next three months to be him and Randy Orton throwing each other around a flipping locker room? No, we did not. With a, with a weird hanging segment. That was weird. On, on the anniversary of Chris Benoit's yeah. situation. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Bring, bring back the fiend. Bring back the fiends, mate. Bring back the fiends. <sighs> mate, the, the ladies' rumble was awesome, but Alexa got totally screwed. I mean, she whoa, she uh, did, she did. And so did I'm Lana, hoping they're building her up for something bigger. I was so happy with Bianca winning though. Like it was, yeah. I, I thought the. Uh... Anyway, we're not talking about wrestling, but we'll, we'll, well, we'll, me, we'll, me and, we'll... and Ryan were talking about it, and I was like, yeah. I hope she wins. Same here. This, so was, like, this was when she came in at like two or whatever. Dude, and three. I think he was a bit like. No, nah, not going to happen. I said the same thing. I said the same thing to him. I, I was like, it's got to be. It's got to be. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, wrestling for another time. So Simo asks, Andy, what's your next mock Star Wars you're aiming for? Well, I'm talking to someone about three, but they're all, I don't want to say beta cards because they're not like Rip or anything like that, but they, they're not pristine. So I might get them come to an arrangement which i'm pretty which, sure we have come to an arrangement i just need to which which figures are you not you're not saying just now is it going to be a surprise they haven't got to say oh, yeah well, we'll wait until they turn up cool because i don't cool, want to cool, think cool. it and then they turn away and say no they don't want to do the deal because it's a pretty good deal for the three of them um but then after that i think i, I just need to stop <laughs> yeah. I, i'd love to i want to concentrate again going back to the ewoks i, I started with the ewoks and then i've just gone off on a massive tangent aaron aaron spoiler he's not going to stop no, I know that. I'm just, I'm, I've, yes, he's Andy. Gonna, I'm sure he's going to keep will. doing it, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Contra yeah, you stop. You, 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 you calm down, Andy. He's not going to stop. I will. Stop. Two days later, Andy's toys models. New possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Ooh. laughs> what could it be? Oh, I forgot I ordered this. It's, 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 it's a whole mint on card last 17. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> they're all, they're, 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 their, their budget like they're not as a, they're not pristine they're not Andy, graded. Just, they're, just remember just remember your focus of the year that you, yeah, you were, beast. laser beasts you could have bought two more laser beasts by now no one more you could have bought one more laser beast yeah almost <laughs> I, I i might be in talks with someone for one <laughs> he's never gonna stop aaron he's never gonna stop don't worry about it just just i love it you know, just, it makes just it makes me feel, him it makes me feel, me feel bad about my about my problems well look, i haven't i haven't heard from my, my boss since uh november so who knows i may not have a job <laughs> as long oh. as uh does money keep appearing in your account actually yeah it did actually uh, you yeah. you're good you're good all, all, all i can say down to this is just be there for him when he starts like oh, i can't i bought this when the, the bar and more sticks in aaron me and you will be there andy me and aaron will be there for you and I can tell you right now, we will give you fifty percent of what you paid for any item you want to get rid of. If you know, if it comes to that, that's a, that's that's a guarantee. I'll buy it off that's you for fifty percent of what you paid. It's a guarantee. Right. <laughs> so forty percent, thirty percent of what you <laughs> COVID tax, mate. What are you gonna do? No, I, do? no, I should concentrate on what I want instead of just keep getting sidetracked. Yeah. You should. Or you should. the classic salesman technique. Tell him you'll give him 70%, but only work it out to 50, but just be really confident that 50% is the correct amount and they'll just <laughs> buckle. I'm, they, I'm they, really, they... You know, I'm really bad with numbers, so I'd just be like, yeah. <laughs> do, do, do you remember the old uh, the old music shop, MVC? Yeah. And, and, and it had two prices on all their CDs and DVDs and whatnot. And it was the, it was the, the price or the, M, the MVC members' price. And you had to, and you know, you became a member. It's free to become a member, but the price would be like, 35 quid or mvc price 9.99 you go that's a saving uh but you realize that the 9.99 is a pound more than it costs anywhere else but because they started so high <laughs> it, it looked really good we need to get through these comments guys we're two hours in we need to get i, know, I just realized the time i love, love sectors i've got loads of sectors sectors are great the puppets ah 
Love us again. Another, another two figure. hours in. Do we actually have anyone watching? Probably not. This <laughs> All the comments have been left. Like, <laughs> right, right, heart. You're going to watch this far. I know you are. I've got faith in you. You're going to get all the way to the end. But yeah, another, another toy that should be a lot more popular than they are, especially with that hive playset. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Was that even? Was that even in the UK to you buy? Could get everything, you could get everything else. So I'm assuming it was, but probably not in Woolworths. But <laughs> there's just so little of them. Like, uh, yeah, like the toy division. Cat's player. Were they released in the UK? Are they, are they, yeah. Brad, I think the face mark fast is gone. We're all going to be vaccinate, vaccinated and the world's going to go back to normal very soon. Definitely. We're going to make toy division gloves because everyone's going to have to wear gloves when they touch everything. All we need to we need to work out is stay ahead of the trend and find out what the next variant... Everyone's going on happens. summer holidays, man. Toy division mankinis. There you go. <laughs> There we go. I've got a sun cream. Uh, extra years winter weight. <laughs> I put a bottle of sun cream with the Toy Division logo on it. <laughs> to toy Division, uh, what are those, what are those uh, vibro plates you stand on? Because I've got so fat sitting around it in cake all for the last year. <laughs> I was going to Shinobi, I've just in time came from Target just now. Toy Isle has robots, Fortnite, for and Spin Masters, DC University. Yeah. Yeah, all, exactly all of that. All of that. And someone yeah. else has point. Someone else has mentioned uh, uh, Porix mentioned Ben Ten, and that's a good shout because that is something people kids get and play with. But yeah, as you clutch me in the Spin Master Batman things myself and the four inch I, Fortnite. The four inch the, four, the, four, the Fortnite figures are good, man. They, they're well made figures. Fortnite I know you've got the figures are actually quite quality. What's he called, Mister Peely? <laughs> it's a cool Big. figure. It's, it's cool. And like I, I have the faces with me, but like. They're interchangeable faces, so you can put other ones on there. Yeah, come he is a cool figure. I like I like him in the burger guy. There's another one they just brought out that I think I might pick up as well as him, but he's in like a proper tuxedo. Suit. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, the quality. And I think I think got me also the four inch PD that's up the top there. Nice. But have you got the one that comes with a surfboard? Yeah. Yeah, because that, that, that's, I don't know why, it's just funny. Like, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> a gun-toting banana on a surfboard. Uh... I, ha I had an email uh, yesterday from my bank basically saying that they're cutting my interest rate on my savings again. So I'm just getting to the point now. I was like, I'm just going to buy toys. <laughs> Literally, my money's worthless in the banks. <laughs> What's the point? You might as well invest. It used to be investing bricks and mortar. Now it's investing plastic, guys. Well, at least you got a message like that from the bank. I usually get messages from the bank saying, please, sir, pay your bill. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the bank? What, what, what's the bank? All my money's in, in, under my mattress. Yeah. Plant right, pots. Get... Claire moved some plant pots the other day and lifted up. We've got, like, fake plants. I forgot I put cash in one of the, like, under the plant pot thing. Actually, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> here's, here's a list of my, of my fears. Yes, Axe Cop. Axe Cop does rule. Everyone should get on the Axe Cop, as in the, uh, as in the, um, the, the web series. Well, True. Has a quick, has Bad teacher, yeah. I think people just have uh, short attention spans. Because kids these days, uh, all this used to be fields. You know, right? Like there's still people, if there's people there from the beginning, we've managed to keep people for two hours. God, you got, we, we've got to get through this. We've gone on that long that Raya Hart is now on the live chat, and I know he didn't finish work until super late. So, uh, <laughs> so get, and we've gone a full circle. Get, 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 get circle your mask. Is complete. Yeah, and the Weaver. Get, get your mask questions in for next week because Tats yeah. and Toys. Rob's going to be here. He is a mask guru, and I mean that very sincerely. And he's yeah. very good at uh, Coke can origami as well. He, he also makes mask vehicles out of metal, which is something we'll be talking to him about. He's uh, he's an absolute legend, and he knows a thing or two about mask. But, yeah, that's cool. Mask is underrated. We'll talk about mask next week. We'll talk about mask at length next week. that, Matt, uh, Baz, start liking. Your six-year-old now is asked for Ken and mask toys. Is that only because he sees them through you? Yeah. yeah. Not and the fact that he knows about them at all. And did it? Did he ask for Kenamark? Could you annoy him and give him the mask toys? The Jim Carrey film. Again, we go back to the start. But who did them? Was that Ken or was it Hasbro? It wasn't. They're cool toys. They're good if you like yeah. masks. They're, they're good toys. Play with Transformers, oh, yeah. I, 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 young kids who play with Transformers, yeah. But they, they do a lot of like the, the younger kids' ones, don't they? But are, are they playing with the War for Cybertron figures, which I would say are probably more aimed at the adult collector? 
I don't know. Definitely. I think I've got the patience. Know. I've got the patience for Transformers. Ben 10, Fortnite are for kids. Yeah, Ben 10 and Fortnite are for kids. So, yeah, yeah, 100%. You, you are accurate. Though he did fire Lars Suller and the freak, and everyone went, oh, was he still there? It's... Nobody cared. Couldn't <laughs> give a rat's. Yeah. You buy a kid an exclusive Peter Chris figure. <laughs> Funny oh, enough. Funnily enough, there's one there's one going quite cheap, I, uh, I've heard. Uh, Andy's Toys and Models. Uh, hit him up on Instagram. He'll swap wow, it. Thanks. He'll swap it straight up swap for a, uh, for a Peter Chris. I, I might to, uh, well, tune in for next week to see if I uh, the circle comes complete and I actually get the, the eye. He's going he's gonna to get it, trust me. It's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, Team X? Do you guys have any toys in the collection with holograms? We spoke about the show, didn't we? Other than supernaturals and visionaries, we we had an absolute mind blank of uh, toys with with holograms. I, I have one supernatural actually in my collection, and it's because I had it as a kid. The skull guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got uh, all of them. Yeah. And the Tomb of Doom, and the and well, the ghostlings, but never the monster trucks because it's stupid and it makes no sense. And it's not the stupid. Only thing is is it a hologram or is it just a is the heat patch on the uh, G one Transformers? You know you can. It's not a hologram. It's a heat it. patch. Not same, a hologram. As ba- same as Battle Beasts. Yeah, close as I get to it. Yeah, I mean, Gem and the holograms. They there are holograms in there, but that's because they're called the holograms. Go go Power Rangers, indeed, 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 indeed. Yes, we've right, got to finish, yeah, guys. We've got to finish right. this. This is this is, must be so boring for everyone. <laughs> yes, yes, right. Hard. Go back to the start, and I demand you watch it. You watch all two hours, eleven minutes of it right now from the start. <laughs> Guys, nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it there because yeah, two thousand and ten is is a is a slog. So, well, uh, if, if you guys enjoyed it, it's good fun. Yeah, um, I hope you really do enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll be back next week again with Rob, aka Tats and Toys. Uh, Rob's a great seller and everything from the scene. So if you have been to any of the local toy fairs, you would know him as the mask guy. I think probably the one person in toy fairs that actually sets up after me takes that long. <laughs> but but packs down in like three seconds. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah his pack down is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, he's a legend. He's, he's a legend. Love it, guys. Well, guys, yeah. thank you very much. Um, appreciate every one of you. Uh, big chat and everything make sure if you haven't joined toy division facebook group you have uh, and we'll see you very very soon for a uh, any video we'll try and make some content i'm never gonna uh, make content ever i am <laughs> working on, everyone, I'm, 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 i will do a video this week what day is today wednesday yes it is indeed oh, yeah, here I'll, I'll, I'll try and put something out for friday not that anyone cares but i'll try I want to see. I want to see all your uh, tag tag Mr. Dan Plastic in all your Axe Cop related photos on Instagram. <laughs> yes, and if you if you're if you're ready to go for another three hour slog, Blue Hardy's Vintage Toys are doing their uh, one at eleven. So make sure you. Uh, well, I'll have a pee, I'm recharge there. my drink, and I might just carry on watching. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna jump on that as well. All up to Dan. If, yes. Yeah. By any chance, if anyone has. <laughs> i mean literally what what are the chances peter chris is the like it's not gonna happen dude you're gonna have to you're dude, gonna have to buy it mate i'm sorry when i like look at the size difference in the boxes i was like oh it's different but then when i looked at the pack it's the same pictures so i was like oh, the, the eye must be somewhere can i just can i just buy it can i just buy it for you right now i'm just I'm, it's happening I'm, it's gonna annoy me i'm buying it for you right now oh i'll buy it no no no, no i'm buying it i'm buying it i'm buying it see you later wave everyone wave Later.